from Chandler, where the Hamilton Huskies host the Highland Hawks. Hello everybody, Chris Harris here along with three-time Super Bowl champion and former Dallas Cowboy Dale Hellstray. And Dale, we are so excited to be opening up another season of Arizona high school football here on Your View. We open up with two teams who won their season openers last week with Highland and Hamilton. They did, and it's 110 degrees outside, <laughs> so we know it's football weather in Arizona. Looking forward to this matchup. Now, Highland is a team that had a breakthrough season last year, had a record of 11-2, and two, made it to the state semifinals, where they lost a heartbreaker to eventual state champion Chandler, 36-35. They're led by their head coach, Brock Fair. Yeah, Brock, Brock Farrell, third season as head coach, went 11 and 2 last year, came within a two point conversion to get to that state championship game. You know, the you take a look at the keys for them to win, they've got to win up front because he's got a whole brand new offensive line, and they're going to be in for a tough matchup tonight against Hamilton. Now the Hawks are led by Daniel Wood. The senior is Highland's leading returning rusher and was an all-state linebacker last season. Last year, almost 600 yards rushing, averaged almost a first down every time he carried the ball, but boy, he can wreak some havoc on the other side of the ball. Look for number six to be all over the football field this evening. Now Hamilton's coming off a disappointing three and seven season and it was a year. They had a losing record for the first time in school history and also didn't make the playoffs for the first time in school history. They're led by their head coach, Mike Zadebski, who's in his second season leading the Husky program. Yeah, after last year, three and seven, a whole lot of turmoil here at Hamilton. They've left that in the past. Eyes are forward. Coach Zadebski talked about the off season, getting guys in the weight room and on the track and building some trust among his players. He's done that. The Huskies are led by Brendan Rice. The senior is a four-star recruit and the top-ranked wide receiver in the state and has more than 20 Power 5 college offers. Dynamic athlete. He's got great hands. He could be physical. You do not want him to get out in front of your defense because he can make some guys miss, and you're not going to catch him once he's past your safeties. Rice is certainly a playmaker to watch here this evening. When we come back, we'll have the keys to tonight's game between the Hamilton Huskies and Highland Hawks. You're watching Game Time on Your View, Arizona. Game Time High School football coverage on Your View is sponsored by Arrowhead Honda. Arrowhead Honda is supporting our schools. You can find your car and buy online at arrowheadhonda.com. By Big O Tires, the team you trust. And by Valle Luna, proud supporter of scholar athletes in Arizona. Join us all fall long for some of the top high school football teams from around the country on Game Time. Big O Tires and the D-Backs have teamed up to keep you safe and deliver Major League fun. It's the Check Your Air Score a Pair promotion. Stop into any participating Big O Tires for a free air pressure check and you'll receive a voucher for two D-Backs tickets to select games. Proper inflation improves tire performance, slows tire wear, saves gas, and gets you home safe. So remember, Check Your Air Score a Pair. Big O Tires and the D-Backs, the teams you trust. Phoenix Children's Medical Moments. Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine. With the magnitude of the surgery, you really get to know these families, and I've been doing it long enough where I've got kids bringing me their kids, which, you know, makes you feel really young. By the first day after surgery, we're getting them up and getting them walking. Fortunately, most kids that come into my office that truly have scoliosis never need surgery. The most rewarding part is when you've changed somebody's life for the better. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamilton High School's We Get Set for our season opener. Game time on your view, Arizona, between the Highland Hawks and Hamilton Huskies. Let's now send it down to the field to the third member of our team, our sideline reporter, Haley Stasiak. Haley? Thanks, guys. I'm Haley Stasiak down here on the sidelines. 
it is a hot one. The key tonight is going to be staying hydrated. And talking to both of these coaches, they said that hydration will be the number one thing to avoid any cramps and any serious injuries. Here's tonight's injury report brought to you by Phoenix Children's Hospital. Nationally ranked, locally focused. The only thing that Coach Zadevsky told me from Hamilton was that we're, there were some alleys. There are no serious injuries to report. Guys, back to you. Thank you so much, Haley. As we just had the coin toss. Dale, did you hydrate? I hydrated all day long, ready to go, and let's kick it off. Finally, let's now get to the keys to the game, presented by Larry H. Miller. Larry H. Miller is proud to support Arizona High School football, driven by you. Dale, what Talk, do you have? Talking to both coaches before the game, they both emphasize they have to win in the trenches. This is now the second game for each one of the teams. You want to cut down on those penalties. You somewhat expect some of those penalties in the first game, and then you need to protect your quarterback if you're going to win this football game. It's been too long, Dale. It's been about what? Ten months, nine months. Glad to be back here. Getting glad after it. To, glad to be back here. Hamilton High School, nice place to kick the season off and uh, see this storied program starting to gain its footing once again. And Highland will kick it away to get things going. Jackson Ray, the junior kicker, will get things started for us here. The season opener. Number two, here on your view, Arizona. Nice. Number 21, Cole Martin, Back to return the for the Huskies will be Cole Martin, the freshman. And he is a speedster. Terrific cornerback as well. Starts on the defensive side of the ball as a freshman. Let's get this underway. The season opener, Highland and Hamilton. To the end zone will be a touchback. Bring it out. Hamilton's offense that comes out to the field first. Here, here are the batteries plus bulbs. Starting lineups, batteries plus bulbs. Power up at your neighborhood, batteries plus bulbs, or online at batteriesplus.com. A lot of the notoriety is going to go to Brendan Rice, the wide receiver. But up front, keep an eye on Finley, Finley Lecky and Dylan McGinnis. Uh, both guys that uh, are really, really good football players for this Hamilton high school football team. Yeah, Dylan McGinnis, he's already verbally committed to play his college ball at Washington State, but Lecky, the center, three-year starter. Nick Arve finds his receiver, making the catch, Caden Hattendorf, the senior. Take a look at that Hamilton quarterback, Nick Arve, the senior. Transferred in from Castile last year. Take a look at his numbers from last week's game against Chaparral. Very impressive. Yeah, 20 of 24, 258 yards. Almost a perfect game from the season. Left side, not much there. Take a look at the Highland Hawk defense. Making the tackle there for the Hawks. Robert Kingsford. As we take a look at that line, another player to keep an eye on is that cornerback, Jashan Lee. Rock Farrell, the head coach for the Hawks, feels like he's one of the top corners in the country. Handoff, nowhere to go. That Hawks defense stepping up, making the stop on Zach Lewis. In on the tackle is Daniel Wood. We'll see him going both ways here tonight. We've talked about him uh, in the open. He's going to run the football. He's going to play linebacker. You see him knifing through there, through that A-gap, able to throw Hamilton for the loss. Keep an eye on number six. He's disruptive for that Highland Hawk defense. He led the Hawks last year in tackles for loss with 18. Also had 10 sacks, which was also a team high last year. Back to return for Highland. It's going to be Tanner Crandall. Brady Kofal with a punt. And we got a flag down. Ball is down about the 45-yard line, but the flag bail back by the punter. And I think they're going to get run into the kicker. That's probably going to be the five-yard variety and still going to be an automatic first down. And that looked like it was Daniel Wood. 
Personal foul. Roughing the Personal foul roughing the kicker is a call against the Highland Hawks. It'll be 15 yards. High snap, so Highland not even really rushing the punter. And you see right there, nice job making sure that you draw the contact there by Brody Cafal, the punter for Hamilton. And pick up the first down. And there, those are the penalties that will drive you crazy as the coach. Defense comes out, forces a three and out, getting the ball back to your offense here early in the football game. And now you got to go back out there and play defense. And it was a very avoidable penalty. So if you're going in for the block there, what is the key? Where should you be aiming? Oh yeah, you go to where the punter's going to be, which is about four yards in front of where he's starting. But that snap took everything out of sequence. Huskies offense back out on the field. Right side with the carry for Hamilton, Sebastian Dorman. Dorman went over for 100 yards in last week's win against Chaparral on 18 carries, a pair of touchdowns. Well, that front line for Hamilton from left to right, 240 pounds, 260, 274, 210, and 280. Highlands front line, 225, 270, and 217. So they're going to have to win with quickness. Second down and four, ball at the 47. Arve finds his receiver, first down Hamilton. Making the catch is Christian Anaya. That moves the chains. Nice job, protection up front. Ball comes out in rhythm, comes out quick. He will pick up the first down. And another tackle by Daniel Wood. He's going to be all over the field here tonight on both sides. Working the right side was Dorman again, but in to make the tackle this time for Highland is Dawson White. Play was made by Robert Kingsford, number eight, able to get some penetration, string that play out, and allow the other Hawk defenders to get over there and tackle him for no gain. Ball is marked at the 46. We got some whistles being blown. Officials being very cognizant of uniform violations early in the year, whether it's chin straps, whether it's uh, necklaces, things like that. They will stop the game and have the player come off the football field. Hand off, Dorman again gets slowed down by 52. Logan Wills is going to bring up third down for the Huskies. Nice job by Wills, six foot, 220 pounds. You see this defensive line slanting, moving, not just standing in there and two gapping against this big physical offensive line. So it's going to bring up third down and nine. Hamilton defense was able to get a stop the first time around. Yeah. Roughing the punter penalty, put the Huskies offense back out in the field. Arve fires, has the receiver, first down Hamilton. Another third down conversion and making the grab is Brendan Rice, a pickup of 17. We've talked about his speed, we've talked about his elusiveness. Does a little in route here in traffic, three Hawks defenders around him, goes up. Hall and catches the ball with his hands, able to pick up the first down. Nice concentration, knowing you're going to get hit. It's also nice to have a receiver like Brendan Rice. He'll go up and get that ball. Big target as well. Right side. Nice pick up there for the Huskies by Brady Shook. Inside hand on Another first down. Snaps are a little bit high from Lecky to Arve. Something to keep an eye on here early in the game. Arve's had a Go up and catch a few of those, which can affect the timing of some of these fly sweeps. Ball is marked at the 19. Arve, Shuck once again trying the left side. Pickup of about seven. Brady Shuck, he is the younger brother of Tyler Shuck who is now up at Oregon playing quarterback for the Ducks. Well, Brady has an offer from NAU. He's a guy that coaches say plays with a chip on his shoulder, 6'2", 183 pounds, and a multi-sport athlete. Love to see that. Arve 
as the receiver cut back by Lewis inside the five. Another first down for Hamilton. It'll be first and goal. Lewis will move all over the ball last, all over the field last week. And Chaparelli had five rushes for 69 yards. This time you get the ball out to him in open space. He's only a junior, makes guys miss, not afraid to lower that shoulder and gain some extra yards. So it's going to be first and goal, Hamilton. Ball is spotted at the five. And we got penalty flags before the snap. Prior to the snap, Procedure snap infraction, we'll offense five. number 56, five-yard penalty, ten. still first down. And there's our referees for tonight, Tracy Hernandez, Ken Adams, Luke Gross, Jeremiah Hahn, Troy Stewart, Mark Skosapik, and Jalen Lester. And officials for tonight. So the penalty move back five yards. Ball now at the 10. More whistles, more flags. Dead ball, sideline warning, Highland. That is their first warning. Another point of emphasis this year, the sideline warning is not even any coaches down by the official, but a couple things that they are gonna keep their eyes on as an officiating crew. Uh, look at the penetration there by Danny Wood and coming in to help out as well as Kyle Olson. We talked about the movement this time Daniel Wood is going to come. You see him up at the top of your screen coming through that B gap right in behind his defensive line able to string that play out make the tackle in the backfield. 14th play of the drive. It's chewed up almost six minutes. Arve rolls left. Has the receiver. Rice. Touchdown, Hamilton. Brendan Rice hauls it in from 11 yards out. And the Huskies strike first. Really nicely devised play. Executed perfectly by Arve and Rice. Outside comeback right at the sideline ball thrown before he makes his cut able to catch the ball and Get his feet down Brendan Rice 6'3 215 three-year starter We talked about him in the open big playmaker top wide receiver in the state Extra point it is up and it is good So it's 602 remaining here in the opening quarter the Hamilton Huskies strike first. Nick Arve finds his favorite target, Brennan Rice, just inside the pylon for the score. Hamilton up 7-0. You're watching Game Time on Your View, Arizona. Tonight's Game Time keys to the game are brought to you by Larry H. Miller Dealerships, proud to support Arizona high school football, driven by you. Shopping online takes all of the hassle out of buying a car. And thanks to our redesigned website, Larry H. Miller Dealerships has made online car shopping even easier. One click shows you every vehicle for sale in the state. Estimate your payments and find a plan that works for you. Learn everything about the vehicle with a Carfax vehicle history and get the real value for your trade. Then stop by the dealership and pick up your new vehicle. Say hello to the future of car shopping at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Times. Tickets start at $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back, everybody. Hamilton High School, the Huskies strike first. They lead 7-0 midway through the opening quarter. Well, each week, Valle Luna restaurants and cantinas are proud to honor two student athletes, one from each team, the Valle Luna Scholar Athlete of the Game Award. Tonight's honorees are senior running back linebacker Daniel Wood from Highland High 
and senior defensive back Aiden Harrison of Hamilton. Daniel carries a 4.5 GPA while also running on the track team. He's also a member of the National Honor Society, takes AP classes, has played the bass in the school orchestra, and volunteers at his church. Aiden has a 4.3 GPA, also a member of the National Honor Society, scored 1290 on his SAT, also competes in wrestling and track volunteers for South Mountain Cleanup and Feed My Starving Children. Congrats to Daniel and Aiden, two outstanding scholar athletes, Valle Luna proud supporters, scholar athletes in Arizona. We want to give a little shout out to Bill Riddle with Valle Luna. We know he's a little under the weather at the moment. We wish him a speedy recovery. Bill and his wife, Janie Riddle, such a big part of football here in the Arizona community. Big part of National Football Foundation as well, Fiesta Bowl, and we wish Bill Riddle a speedy recovery. Well, here is the Big O scoring drive, brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Look at that, Dale, 14 plays, 80 yards, chewed up almost six minutes. And you wear down that defense, and let's not forget that penalty on the punt. They were off the field after three plays. The penalty allowed Hamilton to continue the drive, and they made it pay off at the end. And then after that, the Huskies converted a couple of third downs as well. Highland Hawk offense now on the field. And here are the batteries plus bulbs starting lineups. Batteries plus bulbs power up at your neighborhood. Batteries plus bulbs or online at batteriesplus.com. Left tackle Noah Boone, the only offensive lineman that has any playing experience for Highland. All new starters on that offensive line for the Hawks. Getting the carry there is Max Davis, the junior running back. Average over eight yards per carry last year, 52 carries. 433 yards is only a junior 5'11", 180 pounds, runs off a couple really nice blocks on the right side behind Chance Hanks and Poule, the right tackle, who's a freshman, 6'4", 270 pounds. How about big fellas up front blocking the sophomore quarterback? Gage Daly, but not much blocking on that play. Coming up to make the sack for Hamilton is going to be Alex Wheelert. Well, and that's Alex Wheeler. He's a left defensive end. He's going to be coming in, working on that freshman offensive lineman at right tackle, able to stunt inside. Wheeler, 6'1", 186-pound senior, athletic, quick, and a great motor. Two sacks last week off to a great start. And there's the rest of that Huskies defense. Also keep an eye on the outside linebacker, number 88, Jeremiah Trojan. He has committed to play his college ball at UCLA. So it's a three and out for that Hamilton defense. Playing it away. Boy, getting a great bounce there. Why do we look confused? Is Jackson Ray. Ball goes out of bounds at the 31 yard line. A 56 yard punt. For Jackson Ray. Now the Big O Tires is the team you trust. Get the Big O Tires experience at BigOtires.com. So a great start for that Hamilton Husky team. Opening possession, take it down for the touchdown. Defensively get the three and out. Well, I can personally attest to the fact that it takes a lot more out of you playing defense than it does offense. And we're down the field before the game. And Haley talked about it. Really, really warm. It'll cool off as the game goes along, but you'd like your defense to get a little bit of rest. That would be ideal, no doubt about it. And on the left side, it's going to be Sebastian Dorman once again. We talked about this Hawk defense having to move around a little bit, a little bit undersized. Going to try and be active defensively and get some of these big offensive linemen to miss, try and get Hamilton out of the rhythm. And this Hamilton rushing attack last week against Chaparral, 285 yards behind that big veteran offensive line. Second and five, Arve 
first down. Rice once again with the catch. Just a nice security blanket there for Nick Arve. Brandon Rice, we talked about 6'3", 215 pounds. Last year had 11 touchdowns, 49 catches. Last week, 6 for 150. And he just has that threat of taking it to the house every time the ball comes his way. Three catches already for 33 yards plus the touchdown for Rice. It's under three and a half minutes remaining, opening quarter. Arve going to keep it. Kyle Olson come in to make the tackle along with Robert Kingsford. Kyle Olson, one of those kind of quiet leaders on this football team, doesn't get a whole lot of notoriety. The 6'2", 225-pound senior can really play football. Fun to watch him run around. A lot of new players in this Highland team. They graduated a lot of seniors off of last year's team that went to the state semifinals. Shuck. Rice was a little disappointed in which way Shuck went after the catch. Well, you got to give a little credit to Jay Sean Lee, too, number 23, the senior coming up being very physical. It's a play that Hamilton's run three or four times, get the ball out of Arve's hands quickly and went to receivers. <laughs> yeah, I can understand why Brandon Rice a little upset. Looks like we used to call that as offensive line. You cannot run to darkness. Kind of lowered his head and ran right into Rice and the defender. Rice doing all he can to help out his buddy Shuck. To no avail. Third down and six. Trips to the right. Are they looking that way? Middle of the field, Shuck calls it in. Nice pick up there for the Huskies. Moves the chains once again. Pick up of 21. Really nice job by this offense. I mean, Nick Arve fits that ball in between four defenders. Allen for Highland comes over and makes a play, but drops it in over the linebackers in front of the safety. Really difficult throw by Nick Arve able to pull it off. First and 10. And play is going to be blown dead. Timeout, Highland. They couldn't get it's timeout. Highland. That is their first timeout of the half. Looked like Highland was trying to make a defensive substitution. The 12th man couldn't quite get off the field before the snap, so they had to call the timeout. Well, if you're Brock Farrell, you're looking at your defense right now. You know that they have got to be gassed. They've been on the field for all but three plays this entire quarter. Now take a look at some of the notable players for the Hamilton Huskies. Talked about Brendan Rice, the over 20 offers. Michigan include, in fact, he's going to go to Ann Arbor for their for their game tomorrow. So he's going to catch a flight not long after this game. Dylan McGinnis, Washington State, his older brother is a redshirt freshman up there. Then we've got Trojan, Zach Lewis, and Shuck both have offers up, up north. NAU and Cole Martin, the freshman, the freshman, or he has offers from Fort Atlantic and Nevada. Well, and I'm going to focus on Finley Leckie in the center, 6'1", 274 pounds. Coach said that uh, he's playing as good as any of their offensive linemen. The thing that's keeping him from being recruited by Power 5 schools, he's six foot tall. And it's all because he's six foot tall. If he's 6'3", everybody's doing over him. And that's got to be frustrating. Arve goes through the hands of the intended receiver, Christian Anaya. Yeah, you have to fit into a box. I mean, I've talked to so many college coaches. If you're not six foot five, you're not getting recruited by a Division One school. And I'm telling you what, they're missing out on a lot of really good offensive linemen who are 6'2", 6'3", uh, run through a wall for you with great technique and strength because they want those big bodies. You look at somebody like Tosh Baker over at Pinnacle, 6'9", about 280, and all of the big schools were all over him. And he is verbally committed to play at Notre Dame. Anaya once again, this time he's going to get brought down by Kingsford. And I'll tell you what, Dale, there's a great senior class for offensive linemen here in the state of Arizona. It's a great senior class for all positions. True, you know, there'd true. be probably 150 uh, recruitable kids, scholarship kids. I read Richard Obert, the esteemed writer for the Arizona Republic, talk about possibly the greatest 
class of high school football players to come out of the state of Arizona. Certainly a lot of talent rolling around, including this field here tonight. And Arve hits his receiver, Hattendorf. And looks like it's going to be about a yard short of the first down. They're going to spot it at the 25. Well, that looks so good. Hattendorf ran a little out route, and I think he thought he had plenty of room to pick up the first down. But remember, in high school football, the chains are only on one side. The chains are on the opposite side of the field where he was, and he is about a full yard short. So the decision has been made. Hamilton and Coach Mike Zadepski is going to go for it. Fourth and one. Hand off up the middle. Dominic Hilton lowers the shoulder, picks up the first down. Hilton, 6'1", 212 pounds. Listen as the defensive lineman lowers his shoulder and able to punch it forward for a yard. And again, continue to drive the ball against this defense it has to be tiring if you're Highland. Jet sweep. Zach Lewis nowhere to go. Great job by Danny Wood. Set the edge. Help make the tackle. Tremendous job. Physical to point of attack. Sets the edge. You can see him at the top of your screen come up. Fight inside the block. You see him lower his shoulder. Rip up through that and Make sure that the running back was not going to go anywhere, that being Zach Lewis. Remember, Wood, an all-state linebacker last season as a junior. A loss of four on the play. Arve, left side, room to run. It's brought down at about the 15. And I know you asked Coach Zabefsky before the game, Dale. Ideally, what do you want to see from your quarterback? It's about 200 yards passing, about 100 yards rushing, picked up a few there. And we are through the opening quarter here at Hamilton High School. Our season opener. Game time on your view, Arizona. And it's the host, Hamilton Huskies. Leading the Highland Hawks by a score of 7-0. The second quarter when we come back. My name is Javier Cardenas. I'm the director of the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center here at Barrow Neurological Institute. We're very fortunate to have a comprehensive team here at the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center. We have a team of neuropsychologists who can analyze the thinking aspects. We have a psychiatrist who can address the mood problems. And we have neurologists to address those physical symptoms associated with concussion. We also have a team of therapists to address balance issues, vision issues, and thinking issues in a neurological rehabilitation format. If you suspect a concussion in your athlete on the field, immediately remove them. The message, when in doubt, sit them out. Second, it's never too early to go in and see a healthcare professional about this particular injury. Also, tell the teacher, tell others at the school, that way they know how to adapt to the issues that your student is having. For more information about concussion, visit barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. What is Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas? We are a true Arizona original. Serving carefully prepared, authentic Sonoran-style cuisine since 1983. We are time-honored family recipes using only the freshest ingredients. Good fun, a family place, a gathering place. We are happy faces and happy hours. We are your new favorite neighborhood hangout. Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas. Welcome back, everybody. We get set for quarter number two. Game time on your view, Arizona. Hamilton leading Highland by a score of 7 to 0. For Rias Air Conditioning Home Performance, it's time to rethink your AC company. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Start of this second quarter, and you take a look. Total yards, Hamilton 126 on 24 plays to Highlands two yards on three plays that will obviously take its toll on this Highland defense in the second half. Well, you know what else is going to take a toll as we got the latest update from our resident meteorologist, Beth Hockman. 
It's 106 degrees out with an excessive heat warning right now. I remember in Dallas in August and September, we'd be walking out to the practice field. The TV was right before we walked out, and they'd say, please don't let your pets go outside. It's excessive heat warning as we're walking out there in full pads. They don't care about you. Not at all. You guys had a job to do. Third and two. First play of the second quarter. Arve finds his man. Ball is loose. Highland recovers. What a big hit by that Hawk defense. And we do have a flag on the play. It was Cam Pullimore came up with the recovery, but let's well, see what the flag's for. The flag came in really, really late. The play was almost over with, and there were nothing but Hamilton players in the area. Here's your to see what this call is. Who's the right guard? Well, that's not a good sign if he's asking who the right guard is for Hamilton. <laughs> Evidently, it was not ruled a fumble. Offense number 15, 51, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Replay third down. So you are correct, no fumble. Must have been ruled down by contact. Must have been, so obviously if it was a fumble, Highland would have declined the penalty and kept the ball. Instead, the 10 yard penalty Brings the ball out to the 25-yard line. Remember, it's third down, third down and two. Rolls out on the naked bootleg, drops it off almost to the end zone. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that, that's as clear a fumble as there is, but it, is there an official with the correct angle to see it? Well, it was Brendan Maslin with the run and making the hit for Highland was Jackson Delsey. Nice job putting your pad right on the football, knocking it loose. But remember now it's going to be third down and 26. There's not too many uh, plays in the playbook for that, is there, Dale? I'm going to say screen or a draw in this situation. You don't want to turn the ball over. So the enforcement-like conduct penalty after the holding that's pushed Hamilton back to their own 40. Double screen there to Zach Lewis. Doesn't like the right side. Now he's going to try to do the left before you can get there. Wood slows him down and finally gets thrown down by Ammon Allen. So I tell you what, I, I, I'm going to give Zach and A for effort. What tremendous effort. Never gave up, but at some point, you got to realize down in distance and say, all right, all 11 guys are taking a shot at me, and now some of these guys are coming back for round two. Maybe it's time for me to go down. Well, Lewis ran for 69 yards against Chaparral last week, but he ran for about 40 yards right there in that play, but he ended up losing five. Balls at the 45-yard line now. Fourth down and forever. Huskies set the punt. Back to return. Tanner Crandall. That was interesting. The play clock's at zero. It's been at zero for a little while. And with the punt is Kofal. Gets it inside the 20. Going to get marked down at about the 18. And downing the ball was Jacob Near, who is the long snapper. How about Near hustling down? Well, he only had to run about 25 yards for crying out loud, Chris. You were a long snapper. Did you make the run down to oh, down any balls? Did. I used to make tackles. Come on. I run a straight line. If they run into me, that's their fault. It's about the only way you make the tackle. Well, you talk to. Brock Fairley says you have to win in the trenches. You need to establish the run. They need to put a drive together right now to let that defense catch their breath. Hand off. Davis gets popped, bounces off. Still on his feet. Max Davis finally gets tripped up. But Dale, you ask for it, you get it. 
Nice run there by Max Davis. 5'11", 180 pounds for you that, that are a little bit older watching this game. Kind of reminds me of John Riggins, bouncing off guys, spinning low to the ground, refusing to go down, breaks at least three, if not four tackles before he picks up the first down. Davis picking up where he was last week. You see the numbers there, two carries, two touchdowns, 65 yards. Davis once again, not much there this time, making the tackles, <laughs> Dominic Hilton. Now you have Chance Hanks and can't see the number for Hamilton in a little bit of extracurricular activity. Going to be a silly call on one of them. Personal foul, defense number eight. 15 yards from the end of the run, resulting in a first down. So that's going to be against Alex Wheelert. Well, it's such a such a silly penalty. You're frustrated a little bit. You swing at a guy with a helmet on. The only thing that's going to happen to you is you're going to break your hand and you're going to hurt your team. It's going to be in to the left of your screen at the top. About 10 yards away from the play. Emotions ran high for Wheelert. Cost his team 15 yards. Davis gets it inside the 45. Another nice pickup by Max Davis. Davis did a nice job running behind the right side of that offensive line. You have Fitzpatrick as a center, Chance Hanks, Poole, the freshman, offensive tackle. Opening up some nice holes and 6'4", 270 pounds as a true freshman. I was 5'9", 130 pounds as a freshman. You were? Yes. What were you by your senior year? <laughs> About 6'4", 220. Wow. He's literally twice as big as I was as a freshman. That's incredible. Can move his feet a little bit. Looks like he has a very, very bright future. All these guys, though, Dale, they're all getting bigger, stronger, faster at a younger age. Training, nutrition. It's incredible. All these guys look like ready for college already. Daly overshoot the intended receiver there, Grayson Kennedy. And how about Daly, the freshman? Pardon me, the sophomore. Daly was looking for Allen over And he has got an inexperienced offensive line in front of him. Well, he beat out a junior and a senior. True Tanner's moved to. The wide receiver and you know coach said he can make all the throws, he's accurate, high IQ, and uh, one of the smartest players that Coach Farrell's one of the smartest players that coach has coached. So we got third and four. Wood first down and more for the Hawks. So a big third down conversion there for Highland, but we have yet another flag. Might get Noah Boone on the back side away from the play. The flag was dropped right at his feet. The offense, number 61, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, still third down. Instead, they got Brigham Bent, the left guard, first year playing football. The senior came out, 6'3, 230 pounds. Yeah, Bent used to play hockey and golf growing up, and he came up to Coach Farrell and said, you know what? I'm going to play football this year. And I said, come on out. Big boy. Third and 12. Daly just overthrows the intended receiver. True Tanner. You mentioned earlier, Dale went from quarterback to wide receiver. Almost hauled that one in. When you can see the athleticism in Tanner. See the ball coming right into your living room. One of those that I think if he yes, asked true Tanner, he said I should catch that nine out of ten times and have been a really big play for this Highland Hawk football team. Speaking of big plays, true Tanner, he returned the opening kickoff of the season opener last week against Alhambra, 95 yards for a touchdown. Back to return the punt for Hamilton. There is that freshman, Cole Martin. 
He ran an 11.41, 100 meters last year as an eighth grader. Mike's the best guy. He's also the track coach, expecting some big things from Martin the next four years on track as well. 8.28 remaining here in the first half. Timeout in the field will take it as well. Hamilton leading Highland 7 to 0. You're watching Game Time on Your View Arizona. We'll be right back. Tonight's Game Time starting lineups on Your View are brought to you by Batteries Plus Bulb Store. Power up at your neighborhood Batteries Plus Bulb Store or at batteriesplus.com. Busy, busy. That's life for you. So while you get to it, we're going nonstop to keep you running. No running around. For new key fobs, plus your neighborhood's largest selection of batteries plus bulbs. Plus, if your phone needs fixing, we do that too. Know how right now. That's our specialty. Power up at your local batteries plus bulb store or at batteriesplus.com for all your power needs. Yes, all of them. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Tires. To get started, $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamilton High School for our season opener. Game time on your view, Arizona. Hamilton leading Highland by a score of 7 to 0. Well, young athletes' bodies are a work in progress, and their care requires a different approach. Phoenix Children's Sports Medicine has nationally recognized physicians and therapists who get young athletes back to doing what they love fast. Make an appointment today. Visit phoenixchildrens.org. And Dale, we talked about Daniel War at the top of the broadcast. Running back, but linebacker as well. He's been terrific. All over the football field, seems like he's played an entire game in a quarter and about four minutes. Seeing all the tackles that he's in on, able to run the football. You see him fighting off blocks, just physical. 5'10", 5'11", 205 pounds, but he plays bigger and stronger. Than that. So we got a new quarterback in right now for Hamilton who makes the handoff, and that is Gavin Goulet. When I talked to Huskies head coach Mike Zdebeski, he mentioned Goulet would get a series or two in the first half. Well, he's six foot two, 190 pounds, only a junior. Going to get some reps out there. Arve is the senior. Pickup of two on the play. Goulet going right. Looking down the field, delivers. Pass is caught. Pulling it in is the sophomore, Christian Anai. Pickup of 37 on the play. It looked like Dawson White was a really good coverage for Highland and kind of slipped down, able to complete the pass way down the field to Anai. Rolling out to his right, buying a little extra time. Steps into the throw. Big run up the middle. Huskies running back, Gabriel Armenta, moves the chains once again for Hamilton. Last week against Chaparral, six carries, 59 yards for the 185 pound senior. Goulet going to keep it. Another first down for Hamilton. Really nice job with the fake by Goulet. It's uh, about two Hamilton, two Highland defenders tackled the running back who didn't happen to have the ball. So three plays as Hamilton offense with Goulet at quarterback. He got the ball down now at the 17 yard line of Highland. Let plenty of room, but coming off the block and making the tackle for Highland. Good play there by number 85, Colton Ellsworth. Ellsworth, six foot five, 205 pound junior. 
A nice job fighting off the block there of Maxwell Falker and falling back into the play. Maxwell Falker, meet the Falkers. Boy, this Hamilton ground game has been getting it done here on this drive. Well, you open it up a little bit with that pass and offensive line doing a nice job coming off the football. Falker, Cummings, Lecky, Castillo, and McGinnis from left to right up front. First nice job by Armenta, who carries 20 yards. And it's gonna be first and goal for the Huskies, the ball at the seven. Armenta again, Wood with the tackle. Armenta is hit by Daniel Wood. Armante gets the ball inside the five. We'll talk about Daniel Wood and his prowess both offensively and defensively. He's just one of those guys that has a nose for the football. They are bringing him from different places on the field. But he's just got great timing. See number six right in the middle of your screen. It will come back underneath the blocks and it's physical when he arrives to tackle the ball carry. He's going to let you know he's around. Second and goal. Incomplete. Haddendorf intended receiver. Is there a flag anywhere? No flag. No flag, and that's one of those dangerous throws. Gillette rolling out to his right, throwing late back across your body to the middle of the field. That's asking for an interception. Able to get away with it there, but Hamilton now, again, this is the third time they've been down inside the 10 yard line. They came away with no points last time. Third and goal. The replay is Delcy on the coverage for the Hawks. Gillette, corner, looking for Rice, holds it in, but he's out of bounds. Brennan Rice goes up high to make the catch, but couldn't land it in bounds. Fourth down. One of, one of those plays I just don't like, but I guess if you have Six foot three, 215 pound receiver who can go up high and get a ball. It's worth taking a shot, but throwing the ball to the corner of the end zone, not able to come down with it in bounds. Rice just did not have enough room. On now for the field goal attempt is Colin Fuller from 21 yards out for the senior, replacing Daniel Obarski, who was a terrific kicker for Hamilton. And Fuller's kick is up and it is good. So at 5.22 remaining here in the first half, Fuller's 21-yard field goal gives the Hamilton Huskies a 10-0 lead. You're watching Game Time on Your View, Arizona. We'll be right back. What is Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantina? We are a true Arizona original. Serving carefully prepared, authentic Sonoran style cuisine since 1983. We are time honored family recipes using only the freshest ingredients. Good fun, a family place, a gathering place. We are happy faces and happy hours. We are your new favorite neighborhood hangout. Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas. Here's what you've been waiting for. Arrowhead Honda's state-of-the-art showroom is now open. We're bigger, better, and ready to deal. Check out these offers. Lease a 2019 Honda Civic LX sedan CDT for just 89 bucks a month, or a 2019 Honda CRV LX two-wheel drive for 135 a month. So come on down and check out our brand new showroom. Find your new car at Arrowhead Honda at Bell Road and the 101. Welcome back everybody, Hamilton High School. Game time on Your View, Arizona. The Huskies leading the Hawks by a score of 10 to zero. Here's the Hamilton scoring drive, brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. There's the Colin Fuller 21 yard field goal. Nine plays, 75 yards, just over three minutes off the clock. Such a tough field goal, tough angle for a high school kicker from the left. Hash mark that close, the angle is extreme. 
But I'm sitting here looking at this, and I think if you're Hamilton, you have to be a little disappointed. Uh, you've only got 10 points when you've really dominated this first half. And if you're Highland, you see a little bit of hope. Your defense getting real stout inside the, the red zone. Now can your offense just put some points on the board before halftime? Brock Farrell, his team trailing 10-0. Such a big year last year. State semifinals lost to Chandler in overtime. The Wolves converting a two-point conversion to get the victory over the Hawks, 36-35. Talking to Coach Farrell earlier this week, he said that win, the residuals of that is the lower classes, the freshmen, the sophomores. They're seeing bigger numbers. And they tell those young players, if you do what we tell you to do, you can have success. Try to keep those winning ways going at Highland. Farrell in his third season leading the Hawk program. Hawks an opportunity for a return here. Tanner Crandall with the return. The Arrowhead Honda is supporting our schools and they want to support you with your next vehicle. Whether you are a graduate football mom or grandparent they've got the car for you contact arrowhead honda for amazing prices on new and used civics accords pilots crvs and the all new passport and mention high school football or visit arrowheadhonda.com thank you well, highland hoping to come up with a big drive here late in the first half and get on the board davis cuts it back inside yeah so Wood. Daniel Wood on the carry. Finally gets brought Stop down. Well, and Fitzpatrick and Alex Wheeler going at it again. Wheeler, a little extracurricular activity. Already had one called against him. You see number 88 right there, Jeremiah Trojan. As you mentioned in the open, going to UCLA. He was 210 pounds last year. Now he's 235 pounds. It looks chiseled up. A specimen, no doubt about it. He's number two ranked outside linebacker in the state. Wood working his way down the sidelines, picking up the first down. With four and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Bouncing off tacklers, not the first guy is going to bring him down. Lowers those shoulders. You can tell he kind of enjoys a little bit of contact. You know he does as a linebacker, as a running back. You better form tackle him, and there better be a bunch of dark jerseys running the football. 5'10", 205. Runs like he's about 230. Yeah, he's kind of a tank out there. Bailey out of the shotgun. He has got absolutely nowhere to go. Pressure from all directions. Change their front. They slid into an odd front, and that way they can bring more linebackers from different positions and difficult for the offensive line, especially a young offensive line, to be able to pick that up as the ball's being snapped. You see Wheeler come in there really unblocked. Victor Zayas in on the tackle as well for Hamilton. The six foot, one inch, 207 pound junior. Second down and 13, a loss of three on the play. Now continues to run, 325 remaining first half. Beautiful play by Highland down the sidelines for the Hawks. Zach Schroeder, touchdown Highland. 64 yards, Zach Schroeder with the score. What a really nice call by Brock Farrell. What great execution by Gage Daly. And then you see Schroeder once he caught that ball. I thought, why aren't you holding up for your blocker who's sprinting downfield with you? Then you look down and you go, eh, he ran 38 flat in the 300 hurdles. Once he gets in the open field, I don't think anybody's going to catch him. And he also finished fifth in the state in 110 hurdles. Showing off those wheels, and that gets the Hawks on the board with 3.10 remaining here in the first half. Gage Daly to Zach Schroeder. Schroeder takes care of it, 64 yards in all. 
Breaks one tackle by the freshman Cole Martin. And look at the caravan. And that's where I thought, hey, slow down. You got uh, Bent running down the field with you. But he said, let me go ahead and get this myself. What a great job of execution. And you see Gage Daly going down to celebrate the touchdown pass. I was just about to say that play, play was beginning to unfold. They, they need to complete a pass. They can run the football, but they have got to complete a pass. And that was the first completion of the game for Hyde. And you know what, Gage Daly, he had one completion last week in the season opener against Alhambra. That went for a touchdown. Two completions this season, both going for touchdowns. <laughs> I gotta like that QB rating. And how about that confidence-wise, too, for that sophomore quarterback? Getting some points on the board and getting back to this to be in a one-score game. Well, that's what, what uh, if you're Hamilton, that's what concerns you. Completely dominated this first half, and their Highland gets one missed tackle into a big play, and it's a three-point ball. And don't forget, Highland's defense was able to hold Hamilton to just a field goal on that last possession. Larry H. Miller is proud to support Arizona high school football, driven by you. And now that Hamilton offense, led by Nick Arve, back out on the field, and they've seen that lead trim down to three with 3.10 remaining here in the first half. One of those situations where you start with the ball on the 20-yard line, there's just over three minutes left, as you mentioned, and you want to be aggressive, but how aggressive can you be? You definitely don't want to give the ball back with no time off the clock, and you don't want to have a turnover. The catch is made by Shuck, and we just popped up Arvey's stats a moment ago. He's now 14 of 15 for about 110 yards and a touchdown. This offense has looked unstoppable until they get down inside the 10-yard line, and then they've had penalties and some miscues that have led to only the one touchdown. You remember it was Gavin Goulet who led the Huskies on the previous drive for Hamilton, down down to a field goal. Shuck makes another catch, and now it's Harvey back running the offense. A couple really nice targets for our pay. You got Shuck at 6'2. You got Brendan Rice at 6'3. Hattendorf is 6'2. Dorman, right side. Somebody lost their headgear. It's going to be Cam Colomore. So he's going to have to come out for a play. Now, Cam Colomore, his older brother Connor Colomore, was an all Arizona player for the Hawks last season. Playing both sides of the ball as well as special teams. He gets his hands on you, and you are going to be tackled. 5'10, 190 pounds. Harvey rolling out to the left. Shuck holds it in once again. Tackle is made by Ammon Allen, but well, you are right. Between those two receivers, the running game, and don't forget that offensive line, you got four returning starters. Two minutes remaining here, first half. Huskies now at the ball at the Hawks, 47. Oh, what a big hit in the open field by Robert Kingsford as he lays the wood to Dorman. Well, and he's the one who almost sacked Chandler quarterback Jake Conover last year in that semifinal game on the two-point conversion. Look at that form tackle. I mean, you can't draw it up any better than this, keeping the head out of it, hitting with the shoulder. Very, very physical at the point of attack. Kingsford, the senior, 5'11", 205. Second down and five. Arve to Rice. And he gets brought down, making the tackle, Ja'Shawn Lee. Spoke of it earlier. Highland head coach Brock Farrell very high on Jay Sean Lee. Not shying away from that challenge of covering Brandon Rice. And Coach Farrell said he'd be on Rice a little bit here tonight. He relishes those challenges. Well, he coach said he's one of the best Hamilton. cornerbacks in the state. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number 70. 
Five yard penalty, still third down. Well, serving up authentic Sonoran style Mexican food since 1983. Visit Valle Luna Mexican food and cantinas. Three locations around the valley. Valle Luna, proud supporters of scholar athletes in Arizona. And again, we want to wish Bill Riddle well. The owners of Valle Luna, along with his wife, Jean Riddle. Ball goes through the hands of the intended receiver. Shook, you will not see that happen too often. Well, he well, he turned in, expecting the ball in, uh, outs. He expected the ball inside. Ball went outside. Yeah, I think he's going to tell himself he's going to catch that nine out of ten times too. But you got to make sure that the quarterback throws the ball where the receiver is. Fourth and fourth and seven. And Arvey's going to punt it away. Ball bouncing the wrong way if you're the Huskies. They finally down it. There. 23, Gabriel Armenta. Well, I think Coach Sadebski saw that uh, first snap on the first punt and did not want to see that happen here as there's only 35 seconds left in the second quarter. So you got to think Highland's probably going to just run the clock out here. Well, it's one of those things. He looks like, you know, got timeout left, two timeouts left, hand the ball off, you break a a long run, then you can try and hurry up, get a field goal, but yeah, I don't think you force anything on the football field here. Hawksville snapped the ball from their own 17. 35 seconds remaining. Two receivers split to the left, two to the right. Daly, middle of the field, pass is caught by True Tanner. Daily finds Taylor. It's pick up of about four. Clock continues to run. It looks like they're in no hurry over there on the sideline. Maybe take one shot down the field. It looks like the way they're playing it. And Daly sends the receivers deep, lets it fly, and it is intercepted by Brady Shuck as the clock runs out on the first half. And it is Hamilton leading Highland by a score of 10 to seven as we take a look at the interception that ended the half here by the Huskies. Just one of those things I take a look at, like why, why call that play? Hey, you don't, you're not gonna get in field goal position. You're not gonna score a touchdown. Uh, just take a knee and let's go into halftime and not take a chance on anything really bad happening to us. All right, so now send it down to the field where Haley Stasiak is standing by with Hamilton head coach Mike Zadepski. Thanks, guys. Coach, you're up 10-7 here at the half. Early momentum in that first quarter and then a big play right there. How do you keep this momentum going in the second half? We just got to nullify the penalties and quit making things tougher on ourselves. And then other than that, we're playing a pretty good game. They had one good play. They executed that screen pass very well. You've got two quarterbacks in here. What are you liking out of both of these guys? Well, they're both mature and they're both leading and taking what they're giving us. Thanks, Coach. Chris, back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Haley. And Coach Dubecki. And it's halftime here at Hamilton High School. The Huskies leading the Hawks by a count of 10 to seven. Plenty to come at halftime here. You're watching Game Time on Your View, Arizona. Game Time High School football coverage on Your View is sponsored by Larry H. Miller Dealerships, proud to support Arizona high school football, driven by you. Rias, it's time to rethink your AC company. And by Phoenix Children's, nationally ranked, locally focused. Join us all fall long for some of the top high school football teams from around the country on Game Time every Friday night. 
If you think it's hot now, think again. We'll be shattering the century mark before you know it. And if your AC isn't ready for the summer, this year, you need to rethink your AC service. Whether you have an AC emergency, are experiencing hot rooms, or high utility bills, or your current system has seen its final days, Rius delivers guaranteed solutions. Call for your free home energy performance evaluation today. Rethink your home's comfort and energy efficiency with Rius, where they always say it's hard to stop a train. Visit Rius.com. Shopping online takes all of the hassle out of buying a car. And thanks to our redesigned website, Larry H. Miller Dealerships has made online car shopping even easier. One click shows you every vehicle for sale in the state. Estimate your payments and find a plan that works for you. Learn everything about the vehicle with a Carfax vehicle history and get the real value for your trade. Then stop by the dealership and pick up your new vehicle. Say hello to the future of car shopping at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. What is Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas? We are a true Arizona original. Serving carefully prepared, authentic Sonoran-style cuisine since 1983. We are time-honored family recipes using only the freshest ingredients. Good fun, a family place, a gathering place. We are happy faces and happy hours. We are your new favorite neighborhood hangout. Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas. Game Time Halftime is brought to you by Barrows. Parents, learn the signs and symptoms of concussion at barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. Join us all fall long for some of the top high school football from around the country on Game Time. You're watching Game Time on your view. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamilton High School. The season opener of game time on Your View Arizona. It's the Hamilton Huskies leading the Highland Hawks by a score of 10 to 7. Welcome to the Barrows Neurological Institute halftime show. Parents, learn the signs and symptoms of concussion at barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. My name is Javier Cardenas. I'm the director of the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center here at Barrow Neurological Institute. I'm a, a neurologist. Uh, I specialize in concussion and traumatic brain injury. We have a program here that takes care of all the issues associated with concussion and brain injury, whether they be the physical ones, such as headaches and dizziness and sleep problems, the emotional changes associated with brain injury, including anxiety, depression, and agitation, or some of the cognitive or thinking problems we see with concussion, trouble with focus, short-term memory, calculations, and finding words. Some of the mythology around concussions has to do with how severe an injury may look at the time. Concussion myth number one is that you have to lose consciousness to have a concussion. So not everybody who gets a concussion actually gets knocked out. It may be the most obvious, but it's actually the least common. Another myth is that Somebody who loses consciousness or gets knocked out has a worse concussion than somebody who does not. While we are concerned at the time for something more serious than a concussion, like a bleed, uh, it doesn't predict who's going to get better faster. Concussion myth number three is that rest is best. Indeed, when somebody sustains a concussion, we want them to rest for 24, 48 hours, maybe 72 hours. But beyond that, becoming interactive again, whether that's physically, socially, academically, is actually gonna help your brain. We wanna avoid another injury, another impact to the head while they're recovering, but being physically active is actually quite good for you. What a patient can expect when they come to see us is that we care about everything that they're experiencing, whether it's those physical things, whether it's those behavioral changes, whether it's those cognitive problems. We're going to ask you about them and we're going to ask you details about each and every one of them. We're also going to ask about the injury and whether or not it's consistent with a concussion or traumatic brain injury or something else. And then we're going to see if indeed your recovery is typical or atypical. Is it normal or abnormal? We're very fortunate to have a comprehensive team here at the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center. We have a team of neuropsychologists who can analyze the thinking aspects associated with concussion. 
We have a psychiatrist who can address the mood problems, and we have neurologists to address those physical symptoms associated with concussion, including headaches and imbalance. We also have a team of therapists, physical, occupational, and speech, to address balance issues, vision issues, and thinking issues in a neurological rehabilitation format. For more information about concussion and what you can do if you sustain a concussion, this is our National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame Valley of the Sun chapter. We honor scholar athletes from northern and central Arizona, 188 high schools, and the six colleges are represented here. Ultimately, the, the cream of the crop from an athletic perspective, but in the classroom, they're also number one, number two in their class. They're the valedictorian. They're also student council presidents, and these guys are out there in the communities doing just as much as they are on the field as they are in the classroom as well. So it's a, it's a pretty even split. They're pretty remarkable young men. It's a huge honor to just be even mentioned by the NFF. A lot of great players in the state of Arizona, great in the classroom, great in, on the field. So it's a huge honor. I think if we can continue to show that we have these great events where we're honoring all of these great kids. We can hopefully expand and offer more help in the future. If you think it's hot now, think again. We'll be shattering the century mark before you know it. And if your AC isn't ready for the summer this year, you need to rethink your AC service. Whether you have an AC emergency, are experiencing hot rooms, or high utility bills, or your current system has seen its final days, Rius delivers guaranteed solutions. Call for your free home energy performance evaluation today. Rethink your home's comfort and energy efficiency with Rius, where they always say it's hard to stop a train. Visit Rius.com. What is Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas? We are a true Arizona original. Serving carefully prepared, authentic Sonoran style. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Times. To get started, $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back to Highland High Hamilton High School. I'm Haley Stasiak. Hamilton leads at the half 10 to 7. We've got a good one out here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the top games of the week here. We've got Chandler leading Queen Creek at the half 35 to nothing. Pinnacle leading Mountain Point 14 to nothing at the half. Quarterback JD Johnson of the Pioneers is playing with a tweaked left ankle. We'll be sure to keep an eye on that as he is one of the state's top recruits. For our primetime players, let's take a look at these. This is the Phillips Law, Law Firm's primetime players from last week. Quaid Swearingen, the quarterback of Corona Del School, went 15 for 18, 301 yards, three touchdowns, and a win over Mountain View. The school's first win over Mountain View since 1989. Gavin Davis, running back out of Canyon Del Oro, 13 rushing touch, 13 rush, 135 yards, five touchdowns, and win over Flowing Wells. Then Haviz Moma, linebacker out of Fountain Hills, 23 tackles, 17 of which were solo, one sack in the loss to Northwest Christian. And then out here from Hamilton, Brennan Rice, wide receiver, six, re six receptions, 150 yards, two touchdowns in the win at Chaparral. We're going to send it out to break. We'll be back here at Hi Hamilton High School right after this. I'm Jeffrey Phillips of Phillips Law Group. More than 20 years ago, I lost my mother due to someone else's negligence. I was in shock and wanted to make sure this situation didn't happen to someone else. My family hired a lawyer to seek justice, and that sparked my interest in helping injured people. Now, many years later, my Arizona law firms have helped more than 155,000 clients recover hundreds of millions of dollars. Phillips Law Group, 602-222-2222. Here's what you've been waiting for. Arrowhead Honda's state-of-the-art showroom is now open. We're bigger, better, and ready to deal. Check out these offers. Lease a 2019 Honda Civic LX and NCBT for just 89 bucks a month. Or a 2019 Honda Accord LX CVT for only $139 a month. So come on down and check out our brand new showroom. Find your new car at Arrowhead Honda at Bell Road and the 101. Phoenix Children's Medical Moments. 
Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine. With the magnitude of the surgery, you really get to know these families, and I've been doing it long enough where I've got kids bringing me their kids, which, you know, makes you feel really young. By the first day after surgery, we're getting them up and getting them walking. Fortunately, most kids that come into my office that truly have scoliosis never need surgery. The most rewarding part is when you've changed somebody's life for the better. Busy, busy. That's life for you. So while you get to it, we're going nonstop to keep you running. No running around. For new key fobs, plus your neighborhood's largest selection of batteries plus bulbs. Plus, if your phone needs fixing, we do that too. Know how right now. That's our specialty. Stop by Batteries Plus Bulbs for screen repair, key fob programming, battery replacement, and more. Learn more at BatteriesPlus.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamilton High School, where the Huskies lead the Hawks by a score of 10-7. to Halftime here. Game time on Your View, Arizona. Chris Harris here along with Dale Illustrate. So glad to be with us. Let's now take a look at the first half highlights from this one. A lot of Hamilton highlights. They move the ball. You can see the catch by Brendan Rice over the middle. And now you got Shuck catching the ball, moving it down the field. And Harve just having a first half to dream about. And you see the Brendan Rice touchdown gets both feet down, even though he needed one foot down. Yeah, nice footwork there by uh -huh. Mr. Rice. And then you talk about defense, and we mentioned him a lot in the first half, and that's Daniel Wood, number six, all over the football field. And again, Highland keeping them out of the end zone, forcing Hamilton to kick a field goal, hence the 10 points, and then the one big play that Coach Sadepsky talked about, Nice screen pass, and then you get the 38. Zach Schroeder. 38 flat, 300 hurdler running down the sideline. Showing some wheels. It's time now for the Barrows Neurological Institute halftime highlights and stats. Parents, learn the signs and symptoms of concussion at barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. Well, and you look at this number right here, that time of possession, you just wonder how much of a toll is that going to take on this Highland football team, specifically the Highland defense here in the second half. Look at those passing yards as well, 177 passing yards, five penalties though for Hamilton. That was a problem for them last week in Chaparral when they had 12 penalties against the Firebirds. Step aside for another quick break. Halftime here at Hamilton High School. Huskies leading the Hawks 10 to seven here. Game time on Your View, Arizona. We'll be right back. My name is Javier Cardenas. I'm the director of the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center here at Barrow Neurological Institute. We're very fortunate to have a comprehensive team here at the Barrow Concussion and Brain Injury Center. We have a team of neuropsychologists who can analyze the thinking aspects. We have a psychiatrist who can address the mood problems. And we have neurologists to address those physical symptoms associated with concussion. We also have a team of therapists to address balance issues, vision issues, and thinking issues in a neurological rehabilitation format. If you suspect a concussion in your athlete on the field, immediately remove them. The message, when in doubt, sit them out. Second, it's never too early to go in and see a healthcare professional about this particular injury. Also, tell the teacher, tell others at the school, that way they know how to adapt to the issues that your student is having. For more information about concussion, visit barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. Shopping online takes all of the hassle out of buying a car. And thanks to our redesigned website, Larry H. Miller Dealerships has made online car shopping even easier. One click shows you every vehicle for sale in the state. Estimate your payments and find a plan that works for you. Learn everything about the vehicle with a Carfax vehicle history and get the real value for your trade. Then stop by the dealership and pick up your new vehicle. Say hello to the future of car shopping at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. 
If you think it's hot now, think again. We'll be shattering the century mark before you know it. And if your AC isn't ready for the summer this year, you need to rethink your AC service. Whether you have an AC emergency, are experiencing hot rooms, or high utility bills, or your current system has seen its final days, Rius delivers guaranteed solutions. Call for your free home energy performance evaluation today. Rethink your home's comfort and energy efficiency with Rius, where they always say it's hard to stop a train. Visit Rius.com. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Tires. To get started, $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamilton High School as we get ready for the start of the second half. Hamilton Huskies lead the Highland Hawks by a score of 10 to 7. Chris Harris here along with Dale Hellestray. Down on the sidelines is Haley Stasiak. As we look at Nick Arve warming up, what a first half he had. Tremendous job spreading the ball around, obviously, when you have the receivers that this Husky football team has, and Brendan Rice and Brady Shuck. Hattendorf's made a nice catch there in the first half, but at the end of the day, the penalties have hurt them, and they need to finish off tries, make them pay off with touchdowns, not empty trips and field goals as we are looking at uh, 102 degrees right now in Phoenix, Arizona at 827 at night. And again, that's courtesy of our resident meteorologist, Beth Pockman. And we saw Arve's numbers and the beneficiary of some of that stellar play has been the wide receiver, the senior Brendan Rice. Had a real nice first half. Well, had a nice start to the season last week with the six catches, 150 yards. You see him go up in traffic here, catch the football. Nice confidence and timing between Rice and Arve. Talking about getting the feet down. And then you take a look at uh, catching ball. Can be physical, can outrun you, can out move and Let's now send it down to the field where Haley Stasiak is standing by with Highland head coach Brock Farrell. Co coach, you guys are hanging in here in this one. What are going to be the keys to get this team momentum up in the second half? Yeah, well, I think we show we can run the ball, so we're going to you know, keep doing that because that's what we're best at. Uh, and hopefully we can get another couple other big plays like the throw to Schroeder. But mostly we just got to get off the field. You know, we had a couple two third downs. We had an opportunity to get off and defense didn't get off, and they're on there a long time. So we got to get off the field on defense, and I think we'll win this game we do that. Thanks, Coach. We'll send it back to you guys. Thanks so much, Haley and Brock. And thoughts we just heard there from Coach Farrell. Well, he basically just said what I said. So was he Maybe listening? he was listening. Well, was he listening to me? It's quite no, possible. No, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. Obviously, they've got to get their defense some rest. Um, I'm sure the play uh, differential is still quite big as I'm looking to our stats guy, Jared, and hopefully we'll have that here fairly shortly. But again, this Hamilton team you got to recapture that momentum from the beginning of the game because you, know, you were driving the ball at will, and then all of a sudden, bam, Island turned it up a notch, and you did not uh, respond. 42 plays for Hamilton to 13 plays for Highland. How about that quick reply by Jared Donnins coming up with the numbers so quickly Donnins Inc. for you? Donnins Inc. getting it done. Power up at your neighborhood Batteries Plus Bulbs store or at batteriesplus.com. Get 15% off all automotive batteries online through the month of September. And here we are heading into Labor Day weekend, September, right around the corner. Well, these kids have been in school for a while already. They, this is their second game before Labor Day, and, you know, it's just, it's amazing. I was talking to my mom last week, and we never started till, didn't start school until after Labor Day. And when was your first game? Sometime after Labor Day. Unbelievable. They get started earlier and earlier, it seems like, every season. And they're just a glutton for punishment out in that heat. As we get set for the second half, and the Huskies will kick it off. And it looks like it'll be Colin Farrell 
Fuller to kick it away. And a tall task I mentioned earlier for him, replacing Daniel Obarski, All-State kicker last season. And also Jackson Ray on the other side for Highland, replacing Austin McNamara. McNamara now at Texas Tech. And there with the return for the Hawks is Tanner Crandall. It's brought down just short of the 30-yard line. Nice physical game, special teams. Helmets flying around a little bit. And now let's see what this Highland offense can do, getting the ball here to start the second half. We saw some nice plays from Gage Daly. But, boy, a lot of good running, especially behind the right side of that offensive line. And there are those total yards once again. Highland with 115 in the first half. Hamilton, 252. And we've got a flag before we can even run a play from the line of scrimmage against Hamilton. Hawks will have it first and 10 at the 40. And sportsmanlike conduct penalty. And Coach Zadebski looking to get an explanation. Obviously, he wasn't overly satisfied with what he was told by the official. Judging by that reaction. Couldn't actually hear what the call was. Watch three. Watch three. I just heard of sportsmanlike conduct. It's the Hawks the ball at the 41. And there is no room to run there for the Hawks in on the tackle for Hamilton. Sam Weingarten, senior captain. 6'1", 215 pounds, first to meet him, but there are a lot of dark jerseys in the backfield, and that's the one thing if you're Highland, you can't afford to have happen to you, is get behind the chains. Now it's second and about 13. Trips to the right, Daly in shotgun. Hand off to Wood. And there is nowhere for him to go. It's Weingarten once again making the tackle. Well, it looks like it's one of those uh, zone reads. And Daly's reading the defensive end. Defensive end is going to come from the top of the screen. He's unblocked. And when he's there, you're supposed to pull that ball and as a quarterback and run it around the edge. And that's Daly, the sophomore quarterback. Finding his way here at the varsity level. Third and 11. Pass is complete. First down for the Hawks. Zach Schroeder hauling it in. But we have a penalty flag thrown. It looks like it might be roughing the passer against the Huskies. Roughing the passer. Defense, number 43. 15 yards. Added to the end of the run, first down. So that's Wyatt Milkovic with the penalty. What a throw, what a catch. Great route by Schroeder. Great execution. Let's see where the penalty happened. And again, you can't, you cannot hit a quarterback in the head. Their officials are just not going to let it happen. And if you're a Hamilton fan, you can be bothered. But you know you can't do that. Pass is caught by Grayson Kennedy. So that is a, not only a great throw and catch daily to Schroeder, but then you throw the penalty on top of it. Big, big pickup there. Well, that's 30 yards and penalties on Hamilton here in the first drive of the second half. And what was the one thing that Coach Adepsky said going into halftime? We have to cut down on penalties. They had 12 penalties for 115 yards in last week's season opener against Chaparral. And tonight they've got seven penalties for 81 yards. Well, seeing if it's me, it's, you see the off tackle play this time trying to get over to the left. That's Daniel Wood again. You're going to have a pass interference. You're going to have a holding call. You're going to have a jumping off sides. But the ones that you can control, the roughing the pass with unsportsmanlike conduct, those are the ones that will end up costing you games. Coach Zadebski checking out the iPad, looking for some answers. Third and 10. Daly has his receiver. Going to be short of a first down, but the catch is made by Tyson Rohner, the senior. 6'6", 202. 
really nice target. Hopefully he didn't get caught up in that kicking net over there as he's just taken out of bounds. Nice throw. Got look like a linebacker tipped it. Good concentration by Rohner. Taken out of bounds. Comes up limping a little bit. Yeah, you're right. He got rolled into the kicking net. Well, now it's fourth down and looks like about two yards lining up for a 42-yard field goal attempt. They are. It's going to be Jackson Ray who comes on for the kick. And he's got a range of about 55 yards. He made a 45-yard field goal. Play, play clock was down to zero. Let's see if they got him or not. They didn't, and the kick is wide left. So that was a chance to tie the game, but Jackson Ray not able to convert. It's a couple times now here tonight. We've seen that play clock hit zero, and the play has continued on. Well, Rias Air Conditioning and Home Performance, it's time to rethink your AC company. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. So Mike Zadebski and his Hamilton team dodged a bullet there, still have the three-point lead. But as you mentioned, it was 30 yards and penalties that helped the Hawks get the ball down the field. And we got a big run up the middle. Armenta cuts it back. Gabriel Armenta. Big pickup here for the Huskies. And that gets the Husky faithful up on their feet. Right up the middle behind Lecky, Cummings, Castillo. Look at this blocking. Nice read, great quickness, great vision from Armenta. And then great speed, making guys miss, throwing stiff arms, battling for every yard. That was a pickup of 56 yards by Armenta. And Dale, you just mentioned the vision by Armenta on that play. Talking to Coach Dodebski earlier in the week, he said this season the running backs have figured out how to run behind this offensive line and how much better their vision is in finding the holes and where to go. Well, and a lot of times when you're talking about running backs, that's just an innate ability. You, you really, good running backs, you can't teach them where to run. You just have to guide them towards where they're supposed to and then let their natural ability take it. Chuck on the jet sweep. And he is slow to get up as he grabs the back of his right leg. Like that left or right groin, right hamstring. I wonder the way that it reacts if that's a cramp. Talk about the heat. At the end of the day, when it's in, it's as hot as it is, you can only drink so much water. And when you do that, you reach that limit, and then you have got to sweat it out. With Brady shut down on the field, we're going to step aside for a quick break. Eight minutes remaining, third quarter. We'll be right back. Big O Tires and the D-backs have teamed up to keep you safe and deliver Major League fun. It's the Check Your Air Score of Pair promotion. Stop into any participating Big O Tires for a free air pressure check, and you'll receive a voucher for two D-backs tickets to select games. Proper inflation improves tire performance, slows tire wear, go, go, go. saves gas, and get you home safe. So remember, check your air, score a pair. Big O Tires and the D-backs, the teams you trust. Here is what you've been waiting for. Arrowhead Honda's state-of-the-art showroom is now open. We're bigger, better, and ready to deal. Check out these offers. Lease a 2019 Honda Civic LX sedan CVT for just 89 bucks a month. Or a 2019 Honda CRV LX two-wheel drive for $135 a month. So come on down and check out our brand new showroom. Find your new car at Arrowhead Honda at Bell Road and the 101. Eight minutes remaining here, third quarter, Hamilton High School. Huskies leading the Hawks by a score of 10 to 7. And Brady Shuck still being intended to down on the field. 
Now Gabe Armenta, the running back for the Huskies, had a big 56-yard run just a moment ago. Right up the middle, see the blocking there, led by the center, Finlay Leckie. 6'1", 274 pounds, and then you just let your natural abilities take over. you got to love the tenaciousness with which Armenta was running the football. 5'9", 185 pound senior. Big pickup there by Armenta. Let's now send it down to the sidelines to Haley Stasiak. Haley? Guys, Gabe Armenta is having himself quite a game, and one of his biggest cheerleaders down here on the sideline is his foster brother, Pierre Taylor. Armenta and Taylor, like I said, they're foster brothers. And talking to Coach before today's game, I asked him about the two, and he said they are this team's biggest supporters. We we'll look forward to seeing more great stuff out of Armenta tonight, guys. Oh, great stuff there, Haley. Digging that out. Not only teammates, but foster brothers. Going back to Brady Shuck there, the cramps, the thing that stinks is once it hits, short of getting IVs in you, it's really difficult to get rid of. So back to action here. First and 10 for Hamilton, the ball at the 12 yard line. Hand off up the middle, Armenta still on his feet. Touchdown, Armenta, why not? Had the big 56 yard run, and he finishes off the drive with the touchdown. A little bit of everything there, nice read, explosiveness, toughness as he lowers his shoulder to get in the end zone. That was the Gabe Armenta drive. The senior had the 56 yard run and he scores from 12 yards out there. Looked like he bounced off half the Highland defense to find his way into the end zone. On now for the extra point. It's Fuller and it is good. So Gabe Armenta with the touchdown run from 12 yards out. That gives Hamilton a 17. 2-7 lead. Once this offensive line come off the ball, you pull the right guard there. That's Ryan Castillo. Castillo and leads. Gabe our mentor right up the middle, as we said. Great burst through the line of scrimmage. Great toughness running through defenders and would not be denied from the end zone. Well, here is the Hamilton scoring drive brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. And you mentioned it, it was pretty much the Gabe Armenta drive. Four plays, 80 yards, two and a half minutes. And Alex Wheeler showing some love to Armenta. What do you think about those mouthpieces? This guy's got the big old fangs going. Uh, you know, I, I work with some kids, and they say you can breathe fine, and to me, that that would be difficult to breathe out of. But again, I'm old and curmudgeon. Can you Get off my lawn. Can you spell curmudgeon? No, I can barely say it. <laughs> Fuller kicks it away. Short kick. Pulled in at the 10 yard line. Randall gets it out close to the 30 yard line. Well, it's adrenaline charged family entertainment. Monster Jam returns to State Farm Stadium October 5th. Tickets are on sale now. Well, about half the third quarter is gone yes. and Highland moved the ball on the first drive but it was mainly due to two 15-yard penalties against Hamilton somebody for this offense has got to come up with another play big play like Schroeder did there in the second quarter and there's Davis he's trying to answer your call Dale finally gets tripped up looked like by Sebastian Dorn but a nice pickup there by Max Davis, we saw him with some nice runs in the first half as well. Very patient, going to run right behind the middle of that line. Fitzpatrick, the center, bent the left guard, Hanks, the right guard. 
I remember Jack Fitzpatrick moved over from the defensive line, which he played last year, to play center for this football team. And you know, most most of the intelligent kids figure it out as time goes on. Smart guys, good looking guys play on the offensive side of the ball. Are you done talking? Carry on. Smart, good looking. Are we speaking of Dale Hellestray right now? What? I played offensive line, so uh -huh. do with it what you'd like. Mm -hmm. well, we got a player down here for Hamilton. It was Isaiah Blanco who made the tackle for the Huskies. And we mentioned off the top of the broadcast, Hamilton went three and seven last year. First year they ever had a losing record and also did not make the playoffs. Look at this run they had, 2001 to 2015. That is impressive. Look at that, seven straight times. They made it to the state championship game seven straight times, a 53-game winning streak. It was just an absolute machine. And again, they built it from scratch, had some real good coaching. Went through a couple difficult periods, but I do believe Mike Zadebski has this program back on track. There's a look at the banners there. Yeah, these, I mean, you talk about juggernauts. Hamilton was an absolute juggernaut. And it's also the alma mater of one Terrell Suggs. Looking forward to seeing him play for the Arizona Cardinals. T. Sizzle. How about some sizzle out of Max Davis, left side. Looking for the goal line. And they knocked him out just short of the end zone. But how about Max Davis? Dale, you keep asking for these big plays and you keep getting them. Max Davis was a tremendous, tremendous run. But offensive line springing him through. And then he just runs to the sideline. I think Cole Martin, number 21, finally chases him down for Hamilton, and he gets up cramping. And not exactly sure why that wasn't ruled a touchdown, but they ruled him out at about the four-yard line. And it was a 46-yard pickup for Davis. He's now reached the century mark. On seven carries. On seven carries. What's the math on that one? Well, it's more than 10 yards to carry. I know that. I, I, th this is true. 14.3 yards per carry. And bouncing his outside is Wood for the touchdown. Daniel Wood gets credit for the touchdown, but it was Max Davis with the big 46-yard run that set it up, and Highland's back in business. Really nice response to that drive of Hamilton. Seen a couple more Hamilton players come up looking like they're cramping. Have not seen much of that on the Highland sideline. So for Wood, that is his third touchdown already of the season. He had two in last week's win against Alhambra. The extra point is up and good by Jackson Ray. And with 7.06 remaining in the third quarter, we'll step aside for a quick break. And Highland has cut into the Huskies' lead. It is now 17-14 as Wood finds the end zone. We'll be right back. What is Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas? We are a true Arizona original. Serving carefully prepared, authentic Sonoran-style cuisine since 1983. We are time-honored family recipes using only the freshest ingredients. Good fun, a family place, a gathering place. We are happy faces and happy hours. We are your new favorite neighborhood hangout. Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas. Phoenix Children's Medical Moments. Every patient that I see, they want to get back in the game. We are the leading group in the state that takes care of dedicated pediatric sports medicine patients. I get kids back to doing what they love to do. They want an advantage to get them back, whether that be a week sooner, a day sooner, a month sooner, whatever it is. Going to a place that is pediatric focused will give you that advantage. 
Welcome back, everybody. 17-14, Hamilton with the lead. Just over seven minutes remaining here, third quarter. Here is the Highland scoring drive brought to you by Big O Tires, the team that you trust. And there is Max Davis. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't remind you if you're a little bit older of John Riggins. Just love the way he finds that hole. He's got enough explosion to get past most people. Two rushes, 66 yards on that drive. And then they hand it to Daniel Wood, who gets to the outside, punches it into the end zone. So how about that, if you're Max Davis? You get all the yards and hard work on the drive, and it's Wood who gets the call for the touchdown. Well, I don't think Max Davis is complaining right now. Great job by Davis. Island back in it. Jackson Ray kicks it away. Martin trying to pick up some blockers, but he gets tripped up in making the tackle there. J Jackson Delsey. Jackson Delsey on the tackle. Great job. Making the play. Delsey, the junior, 5'11", 166 pounds in the open field. And you see all these playmakers for Hamilton. And first time they had a chance to bring a kickoff back. Good coverage by the Hawks special teams. Delsey with the dive and then the slap at the feet. Able to get the tackle. Arve in. Shotgun, two receivers to the right, two to the left. Masterman in motion. And with the carry here is Gorman. He gets brought down by Cam Cullimore, and you mentioned it earlier, Dale. Cullimore gets his hands on you, you're going down. Yeah, one of those kids, he's 190 pounds, but plays like he's about 225, physical, athletic. We do have a winner of Fun to watch him play football in memory. He's only a junior. Yeah, he learned well from his older brother, Connor. All Arizona last year. He's on a two-year Mormon mission right now. When he comes back, he's got a scholarship to play at Southern Utah. Pass incomplete. Intended receiver was Hattendorf. Well, you can see this Highland defense has made some changes. A little Arvain more difficult for Arve to Hattendorf. complete his passes. First half. It's almost like he was just throwing the ball into the ocean, and every time he threw it, they caught it. Coverage a little bit tighter by this Hawks defense, and well, when you when you talk about the defense, Brock Barrell said, hey, we play a lot of different zones, because our guys are pretty smart back there. Third down and six. Hamilton two of seven on third down conversions tonight. Catch is made by Rice. First down Huskies and boy, just throw it up to receiver and let him go get it. Not anything else Chase Sean Lee, Lee can do on this. I mean, he's got it covered. That's just good on good and great execution by Arve. Better effort by Brendan Rice to come down with the football and get that foot down and back. Well, Brendan Rice is a guy who's really worked on his body, his game. Since last season, Arve's gonna get rid of it. Finds his receiver, Zach Lewis. Ball is loose. Hamilton can't quite fall on it. It goes out of bounds. Zach Lewis is down. Took a big shot from behind. The discussion, I think, is was the ball recovered inbounds? or not. Zach Lewis slow to get up holding that left leg. You're going to see the hit from behind. Ball's going to come flying out. Right here, putting your head right on the football. As Robert Kingsford who forced the fumble. I don't think anybody had possession of it. Nice. We have the coaches up here. Asking our trusty statistician. Yeah, Highland never recovered the ball. Well, Highland recovered the ball, but they were out of bounds first. And you can't be the 
first guy to touch the ball after you go out of bounds. So Zach Lewis being looked at now for Hamilton. So he's being looked at. We, we talked to Coach Mike Zadebski, you know, earlier tonight, Dale. The changes from last season to this season. Last year was his first year at Hamilton. The changes that were made. He's almost got an entire new coaching staff, just two returning assistant coaches from last year. They had the weight room rebuilt. Zadebski took over as the track coach. He told the guys, if you're not playing any other sports in the spring, guess what? You're doing track. So he had almost half the football team out there for track. And one of the guys who came out was Brendan Rice. And he shaved off an entire second on his time from start to finish in the last track season in the 100 meters. And he actually ran in the state meet in the 200 and finished third. And if you look at him now, he's gained 25 pounds of muscle on his frame since last season. Well, as a, as a guy who's been involved with some programs that have had a lot of turnover and the coaching staff, um, it, it takes kids, it takes parents to buy in, and it takes a little bit of time. And I think that's what you find with Mike Zadebski is he's a guy who's going to be here for a while. Players are buying in, parents are buying in, and uh, there's a trust that is earned over time by the coaching staff and families. And he's a guy that was a Hall of Fame coach back in Michigan before coming out here to Arizona. Well, Arrowhead Honda is supporting our schools, and they want to support you with your next vehicle. Whether you're a graduate, football mom, or grandparent, they've got the car for you. Contact Arrowhead and Honda for amazing prices on new and used Civics, Accords, Pilots, CRVs, and the all-new Passport. And mention high school football or visit arrowheadhonda.com. And we've got a penalty flag down as they went to Brendan Rice's direction once again. Wow, well, they're going Brendan Rice's direction. That's Jay Sean. Lee's direction. Surprised that Highland's not giving them as much help as they probably should. That's just, it's a, it's a tough matchup for anybody in the state. Pass interference on the defense, number 23. 15 yards. 15 yard penalty. We'll give the Everything starts down. up front. Nice protection. Steps into the throw. Look at that spiral. Ball's thrown a little bit behind him. You see the contact. But boy, you just, I, I, would, I would think you got to get a safety help over the top to help Brendan Rice or help Lee defend Brendan Rice. First and 10, Hamilton from the Highland 25. Dorman nowhere to go. Kingsford in on the tackle. Hamilton's offense, uh, you know, they talk about wanting to be balanced. 207 yards passing, 160 yards rushing so far in this football game. Just over five minutes remaining here, third quarter. Arve finds his receiver. It's Shuck. He's got to go to the ground and make the catch. He does. We bring up third down. Now they're inside that red zone again. Can they pay this off with seven points? Can you continue to kick field goals? And that's a recipe for getting beat. Three point game. Third down. It's like third and three. Two receivers split to the right, two to the left. Rice in motion, takes, fake the handoff. Arve's gonna keep it, first down Hamilton. Arve He's gonna get brought handoff, down. Looks like they're gonna mark him down at about the 11 yard line. So difficult to play defense against this fly sweep look because your eyes just, they're gonna go to number two. You see him going across the formation and you have to remain so disciplined when you're those linebackers to not let your eyes get off of your assignment. Shuck in motion. Hand off Dorman. He's gonna get brought down. Olsen in on the tackle, along with Teague Treese, the senior inside linebacker. Dorman. Dorman inside well, this defense the hanging in there, even though it's another one of those kind of long drives. 
by Hamilton, making them work. Bringing up second and long. It seems like all of Hamilton's drives have been long drives. Highland's defense has been on that field for much of the night. Arve incomplete. Hattendorf, the intended receiver. Trying to fit it in be between the defenders, thrown between his right tackle and his right guard there was Nick Arve. And receiver was shielded just a little bit. Hattendorf and now brings up third and eight. Yeah, there wasn't much of a lane there for no. Arve. Third and nine, three and a half minutes remaining, third quarter. Ball just inside the 10 yard line. Harvey scrambling. Spins balls loose. Out of bounds though. It looks like it's hot. Yeah, Huskies will maintain possession. Highland not able to recover that inbounds. Pretty, pretty good pressure. Size to run forward, spins, ball is loose, and it is out of bounds. That's two times this Hamilton team has retained possession, but it still is fourth down. So it's fourth down and one. Well, I think if you're Coach Sadepsky and you're this Hamilton team, you're you deserve to win this game. You're going to say we need to be able to run the football in. And they're going to go for it. The 12th play of the drive. And we have got a timeout before we see the play. Yeah, if you're Hamilton, if you, get, if you pick up the first down, get the touchdown, or if you don't get either one, you pin Highland deep. Well, you do, but the thing is, the, the fact, because three points only gives you a six-point lead, um, I know there's still a lot of game left, but to me, it's more of a mentality. If, if we are who we think we are, then fourth down and one, we're going to hand the ball off, and we're going to pound it into the end zone. And especially if you've got the offensive line that Hamilton has, the big dogs up front, you should be able to ask them, to find a yard down there. Well, serving up authentic Sonoran style Mexican food since 1983. Visit Valle Luna Mexican Food and Cantinas, three locations around the valley. Valle Luna, proud supporters of scholar athletes in Arizona. And there it is again. Get well, Bill Riddle. A little under the weather right now. Wishing him a speedy recovery. He and his wife, Janie Riddle, does such a great job supporting the football community here. And here we go, fourth and one for the Huskies. Arve going under center, a little bobble, but gets the handoff to Armenta for the touchdown. Huskies go for it and are gonna get the score. You said, looked like a little bobble on the snap. From Lecky to Arve, right, ran right behind Castile, Castillo and McGinnis. But that's, when you're talking about trying to accomplish an attitude change from one year to the next, that's how it's accomplished. Talk to Coach Zadevsky too about building that trust between the coaching staff and players and that play right there, that decision is an indicator of that. Boy, I just love the way, just love the way Lecky uses leverage. Might be only six foot six one, but great technique. One of those kids, 500 plus pound squat. Good effort guy, great technique as you saw right there. And on top of that, a high IQ leading this Hamilton offensive line. And there's a look at the scoring drive brought to you by Big O. Again, another 
long drive, 12 plays, 77 yards, 347. Well, and to me, you know, a couple fortunate bounces by the football that went out of bounds rather than staying in bounds. And, you know, they, a lot of times you hear people say football's a game of inches. And I think some people go, ah, oh, it's not a game of inches. Well, it really is a game of inches a lot of times. And it was the Hamilton Huskies who got the inches that time and more for the score. Got the lead back up to 10. 319 remaining third quarter. And we take a look at that time of possession, Dale. At 23-48 for Hamilton to 953 for Highland. And we talked about what are the ramifications gonna be in the fourth quarter for this Highland defense. Profall kicks it away. Crandall hauls it in. Coming up to make the tackle was Gabe Armenta. Armenta with the tackle of scoring touchdowns, making tackles on special teams. Well, that's a way that coaches impress upon the entire team how important special teams are. I've seen Trojan out there covering kicks for Hamilton. You, you talk about Armenta out there covering kicks, and you got your starters out there playing, then everybody understands the importance of special teams. Contribute any way you can. Wood, left side, close to the first down marker. Let's see where they spot it. Daniel Wood featured him in the first half as the scholar athlete for Highland. Just a great all around, not only football player, but person away from the field. 4.5 GPA. I think you could have taken a couple of my semesters, added them together, and I don't know if I'd have gotten to 4.5. I'm right there with you. Look at that Hamilton defense. They are all fired up. Sam Weingarten in on the tackle. Had some help from his friends as well. There's a good look right there. 24. Victor Zayas, the junior. Another look at Zach Lewis. Great to see Lewis back on the field. We saw him go down earlier. Well, I think this is a really important play right here for Highland. I think you you have to pump the ball back to Highland after this play and your defense is about done. Third and one. And that Hamilton defense is gonna get the stop. The Huskies get the penetration and that's gonna bring up fourth down. Zayas again at the bottom of the pile. 6'1", 210 pounds. Physical to point of attack. Let's see what Highland chooses to do here. Keeping the, at least the offensive line out on the field. So fourth and one, the ball at their own 34. How about if you go with a hard count here and try to get the free first down, the penalty. Snap. Davis, left side, gets tripped up. But he's gonna get the first down, but it was Zach Lewis who came flying in Davis to trip up field. Davis. But Davis was able to get the first down. Boy, look at that spot. Man, is that close. Not a whole lot of room to spare. Highland brings in their big guys lined up in the power eye and just try to hammer the ball to the left side of that offensive line, able to pick up the half yard they needed. Just barely. Davis has a spin off the tackle. Picks up a couple more. Well, at the end of the day, to win this football game, Gage Daly is going to have to complete a couple Davis throws down the field. Um, you are not going to be able to hammer the ball at this Hamilton defense time and time again and come up with two scores. The sophomore quarterback has not been asked to do a whole lot here tonight. Now remember, he played on the freshman team last year. Big step up. Daly taking a shot down the field, has the receiver. Tanner Crandall, touchdown Hawks. 
61 yards and Dale, you called it once again. They're gonna have to ask the quarterback, Gage Daly, to make a play. He made a play. Only returning starter on offense is Tanner Crandall. Runs a post route, comes open. Coach says he's quick, good hands. One of those multi-sport athletes. Tremendous throw by Gage Daly. Good protection by the offensive line. And then Tanner Crandall just ran underneath it and into the end zone. Extra point is up and good by Jackson Roy. Tanner Crandall. Make a play, huh? Natalie Marquez, we need you to go Steps to, to avoid pressure a little bit to the left. You see the throw. We had Brady Shuck in coverage. Tremendous job. Tremendous execution. Tremendous play call by Brock Farrell and his coaching staff. No doubt about it. There's one happy quarterback right there, Gage Daly. And Tanner Crandall, he's another great story. He missed his entire sophomore season. He got himself injured while jet skiing. As we take a look now at the big O scoring drive of Highland. Six plays, 75 yards. Just over two and a half minutes off the clock, and it was the big connection daily to Crandall, and that's coming after the fourth down conversion by the Hawks. And they take that, and then they convert it for the big play touchdown daily to Crandall. Got some coaches up here in the box sitting down to the right of us. About three of them taking credit for that play call. Well, I heard Pretty one excited. of them specifically <laughs> say it was his play call. So he was he was definitely enjoying the uh, the deep ball and the connection. Twenty four twenty one now Hamilton with the lead, and it's going to be a touchback. Jackson Ray gets it to the end zone. Jackson Ray, he's actually ranked top three in the country for the class of 2021 by Chris Saylor kicking. He's done a nice job getting the ball into the end zone. Remember in Arizona high school football, the ball crosses the goal line, plays dead, takes away any explosive play opportunities. And now this offense back on the field, Nick Arvey, 21 to 25 for 176 yards and one Touchdown for Hamilton. Similar stats as he had last week against Chaparral. It was 20 of 24. A pair of touchdowns in that Highland defense now stepping up, making the sack. Robert Kingsford. One of the captains for the Highland Hawks. Kingsford comes untouched from the right side of the offensive line, and nobody picks him up. Nice job timing it coming really from kind of a slot receiver position. So it looks like they're going to let the third quarter run out for Hamilton. And we've got a great one as we head to the fourth quarter. Hamilton Huskies, the home the team, quarter. they lead the Highland Hawks. A good game, as you'd expect, score 24-21. It is the season opener of game time on your view, Arizona. So glad you could be with us the fourth quarter when we come back. Monster Jam, where it's winner takes all. There are no second chances, no guts, no glory. See Grave Digger, Megalodon, and more compete for the championship. Experience adrenaline-charged family entertainment. This is Monster Jam. Presented by official partners, America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses, and BKT Tires. Tickets start at $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. Lock in your seats today. 
Shopping online takes all of the hassle out of buying a car. And thanks to our redesigned website, Larry H. Miller Dealerships has made online car shopping even easier. One click shows you every vehicle for sale in the state. Estimate your payments and find a plan that works for you. Learn everything about the vehicle with a Carfax vehicle history and get the real value for your trade. Then stop by the dealership and pick up your new vehicle. Say hello to the future of car shopping at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. Busy, busy. That's life for you. So while you get to it, we're going nonstop to keep you running. No running around. For new key fobs, plus your neighborhood's largest selection of batteries plus bulbs. Plus, if your phone needs fixing, we do that too. Know how right now. That's our specialty. Power up at your local Batteries Plus bulb store or at BatteriesPlus.com for all your power needs. Yes, all of them. Welcome back, everybody. As we head to the fourth quarter here at Hamilton High School. Huskies leading the Hawks 24 to 21. This week's on Your Views High School Football Recruiting Podcast Over the Middle. Jeremy is joined by Gentry Estes of the Louisville Courier Journal. Previews big names playing on Your View Arizona. Estes examined ballooning recruiting budgets in college football, including more than $50.3 million spent by 52 Power 5 conference schools in 2018. Fans were promised the early signing period would save millions of dollars, but instead it's ramped up college football's arms race even more. All that and more on this week's episode of the Over the Middle podcast. You can check it out at yourview.com. The shot down the left sideline just over the outstretched hands of Brendan Rice. And for more on Brendan Rice, let's now send it down to the field with Haley Stasiak. Haley? Guys, we've been talking a lot about Brendan Rice's recruitment, and I asked Coach just how involved he is in Rice's recruitment, and he told me that he talks to him pretty often, typically when he's on social. And yesterday, Rice tweeted, should I drop my top four or keep it to myself? So I asked Coach what he thought about that. Coach said he told him to just keep it to himself, keep it under wraps, and Rice responded to him and said, Coach, I was just trying to get a little love. As you guys mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Rice is visiting Michigan this weekend. Coach told me he's also planning on visiting Oregon and Colorado, and it's believed ASU is in the mix as well. Guys. Thanks so much, Haley. Another shot down the field just over Pat and Dole. Well, Brennan Rice, I mean, you got to like what you see out of him, especially moving on to the next level. I've seen him grow and mature, and it's, as you pointed out, the, the physical stature itself has changed. And 6'3", 215 pounds, and he kind of looks like he's about 205. He could put another 10, 15 pounds on him. You know, maybe a Nikhil Harry type, a Larry Fitzgerald type that just kind of excites you. You mentioned Nikhil Harry. That is his favorite player as you look at his numbers so far tonight. He's actually going to play in the first Pro Football Hall of Fame World Bowl in Mexico City on December 22nd. And that features top high school players from the United States, Mexico, France, and the Netherlands. So Brennan Rice can take part in that. In late December, we have got a shank punt. By the punter, Colin Fuller. And that's going to give the Highland Hawks excellent field position. 13 yards on the punt. It's always interesting to come over the sidelines. Nobody talking to you. Nobody looking at you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I will be surprised if Hamilton punts the ball anymore uh, this evening. I think you just drop the quarterback back and have him quick kick it. It worked in the first half. So how about the Highland Hawks now with a big opportunity here. Down by three, early fourth quarter. Daly goes up top. Just over the intended receiver, True Tanner, but there is a penalty flag down. Legal formation, five in the backfield, offense. Five yard penalty, replay, first down. Five in the backfield. Yeah, the illegal ball? formation, but I'm I'm curious as to why they're not declining this. Make it second down and ten rather than first down and fifteen. So 
So that pushes him back to the 35 yard line. Davis. Well, Davis, he is tough to bring down. He's got great vision. Uh, boy, he just barely avoids big hits that are coming at him from all different. Tanner in motion. It's going to be an option. Daly pitches it to Wood. Cuts it back in. It's brought down inside the 15. It's going to bring up fourth down. What great pursuit by that Hamilton defense from up where we're sitting. Looked like that play had a chance to go for a long way. And out, out of nowhere came a lot of dark jerseys. Cole Martin, the freshman. In on the tackle. We talked about the speed he has. And here comes the field goal unit for Highland. It's going to be a 31 yard field goal attempt for Jackson Ray. He was good from 45 last week against Alhambra. And he is good from 31 here. And we are tied at 24 with 8.28 remaining in the game. We'll step aside for a quick break. Highland and Hamilton, we've got a good one. We'll be right back. Tonight's play of the game is brought to you by Rius. It's time to rethink your AC company. Check out yourview.com for more in-depth high school football coverage from around the country. I'm Jeffrey Phillips of Phillips Law Group. My Arizona law firms have helped more than 155,000 clients in the past 25 plus years. So if you're injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, please remember that insurance companies are not on your side. Not your insurance company, and certainly not the other drivers. After an accident, call Phillips Law Group at 602-222-2222 or look for us online at phillipslaw.com. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind-the-scenes access, and more, check out yourview.com. Welcome back. It's game time on Your View, Arizona at Hamilton High School. Huskies and the Hawks tied at 24 
8.28 remaining in the ball game. Larry H. Miller is proud to support Arizona High School football driven by you. And we have got a good ball game here, our season opener here on Your View, Arizona. Jackson Ray at the 31 yard field goal has tied this game at 24 apiece. Remember, special teams played a part in that. The short punt gave Highland a short field and able to capitalize with a field goal. Five plays, 15 yards, 312 off the clock. We were able to get some points off the mistake by Hamilton right special teams. Tied at 24. And there is a good look at the freshman. Cole Martin. He can be a game breaker for the Huskies. There's the opportunity for a return here. Rice slips and falls as he makes the grab. Rice's knee hits the ground, so and Hamilton's going to start no from their own 11 yard line. Well, as we're going to take a look at the slip, a chance gets a little excited because hasn't had an opportunity to return many kicks. You see the foot slip out from under him, but that last drive from Hamilton, a sack, incompletion, incompletion. Are they going to get back to what they do well, and that's run the football a little bit? before you throw the ball down the field. Three by one, move it. There you go. Had success running in the first half. And we got a false start against Hamilton. They'll push him back five yards. Back to their own six yard line. Ball first, ball Offense, first. number 70. Five. Five. So you get the left tackle. Maxwell Bocker, 6'1", 240 pound senior. Eighth penalty for 86 yards against Hamilton and moves him back inside the 10 yard line. And Falker's a guy that moved from the defensive line to the offensive line late last season. Coach Zadebski said they need some aggressiveness on that side of the ball. And here comes Gabe Armenta. Big run here for the Huskies once again. And how about Gabe Armenta? Had the big 56-yard run earlier in the half. And he gets a big run here of 32 yards and gets the Hamilton offense out of a hole. What a great call by this Hamilton coaching staff. It could be delayed handoff to see him come up right in that B gap led by number 70, Falker, but a tremendous job by the right side, Castillo, Castillo and McGinnis. Arve takes a shot down the middle of the field. Catches made by Zach Lewis. Back to back, big time plays by this Huskies offense. Pick up of 30 yards there. And Hamilton has the ball at the Highland 33 yard line. See this explosive offense. You run the ball for a long gain. Then you take a shot down the field. Pretty good coverage. Good physical play by Allen, number 18 for this Highland Hawk defense, better execution. Handoff, Armenta tries to spin out of the tackle, but drops to the ground. You mentioned Dylan McGinnis a moment ago, the senior right tackle, 6'5", 280. And Coach Zadebski said he's really improved a lot from last year. He said he changed his body. He lost a little bit of what he had in the belly. He said he looks really good, got himself in shape. Great size, obviously. Outstanding feet and a great motor. Maybe I can follow what he did. You were for a while. Don't know what happened. Harvey scrambling. It's Bryce. Some room to work with. Manages to pick up the first down. And that's where that extra 25 pounds of muscle comes into play for Rice. He's able to put that shoulder down and pick up a few extra yards when he needs it. Nice job by our Bay, buying a little extra time. Nobody open initially, rolls out to his left, able to get the ball to one of his playmakers, pick up another first down. First and 10, Armenta tries to bounce it to the outside. Still on his feet. Gabe Armenta. 
has been a shot in the arm for this Huskies offense in the second half. He's done a really nice job. Again, that offensive line is doing a tremendous job up front, and that's McGinnis on the right side. You, uh, on the right side. Second down and one. Take the balls at about the 11. Arve goes to the corner for Rice. Back of the end zone, incomplete. Long way to throw the ball, but boy, when you have a six foot three inch target every once in a while, kind of fun to take a shot. Why not? Give him a chance. Jay Sean Lee on the coverage. Brendan Rice, the son of NFL Hall of Famer Jerry Rice. We've had a standout game here this evening. Third and one. Arve out in the flat, making the catch. Is Christian Anai for the first down? Boy, he had a fight for everything that he got there. That Highland Hawk defense. Running the football, pick up the first down, keep the clock moving. First and goal for the Huskies. We got a official timeout. Official timeout on the field. Another player down for Hamilton as you see a nice numbers. And we've seen a few players going down here tonight in these hot temperatures. Parents, learn the signs and symptoms of concussion at barrowneuro.org slash concussion discussion. Just under six minutes remaining here, fourth quarter, tied at 24. And we're glad to see walking off the field under his own power, number 51, Ryan Castillo. Ryan Castillo, one of the. Well, and it's such a stark difference. You look at Hamilton's offensive line. You have four seniors who've all played returning for them, and then the, young, the youth of the Highland Hawks offensive line. How about Jade? Staying hydrated down there on the field, setting a great example for everybody out there. Hopefully that quenched his thirst. First and goal for the Huskies from the nine. In on the tackle is Wood, along with number 77, Jackson T. Walton, transferred in from New Mexico. I don't think you can hear these coaches up here just down the ways from us saying, get him, Danny, get him, Danny. Daniel Wood coming from all over the football field, disruptive. He wreaks havoc. 82 tackles last year. 18 tackles for a loss and 10 sacks. Just a tremendous season. Yeah, Coach Farrell simply said he's disruptive. Just wreaks havoc. Arve, he gets brought down by Kingsford. This Highland defense, they step up and make some plays when they're got their backs there at the goal line. Kingsford did a tremendous job there. Line up a right defensive end working on Maxwell Falker. Slaps the hands down, comes around the edge, and what looked like might be a big gain up the middle for Arbe. Able to be tackled for a short gain. And third and goal. This is the tenth play of the drive. Rice has got one on one up top. Highlands defense knocks the ball loose. Wood recovers. What a huge play here by the Hawks. Wood with the recovery. It was third and goal for Hamilton. Highlands defense steps up and forces the turnover. Daniel Wood might have the best timing of any high school football player I have ever seen on his blitzing dramatic change of events. 4.36 remaining in the ball game. The Highland defense forces the turnover. Danny Wood falls on it. 
Hawks with the ball when we come back right here on Game Time, Your View, Arizona. A lot of people need to replace their windows or patio doors, but they put it off because they think it'll be too expensive. Hi, I'm Ann Romer. I'm here with Michael Smith from Renewal by Anderson. You really work with the customers to find affordable solutions. We do, Ann. We're the replacement window division of Anderson, one of the largest window manufacturers in North America. So we can usually offer our customers larger discounts and better financing than smaller companies or contractors. So you're not a high pressure company. We'll come to your home and assess your current windows, show you where you might be losing energy and take measurements. Then we'll leave you with an exact price quote that's good for an entire year. Right now, Renewal by Anderson has a fantastic offer for homeowners. Save 20% on windows, entry doors, and patio doors. And to make it more affordable, no money down, no payments, and no interest for a year. To schedule your free window and door diagnosis, call 480-447-2525. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Times. To get started, $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back to Game Time on Your View, Arizona. Hamilton and Highland tied at 24. Our season opener. What a ball game we got coming down to the finish. Well, power up at your neighborhood Batteries Plus bulb store or at batteriesplus.com. Get 15% off all automotive batteries online through the month of September. Boy, if you are Hamilton to coach Mike Zadebski, you're having a hard time believing what you just saw. Well, wow, you've seen it all game long, which is what has to be so frustrating. This Highland Honk defense that gets down in the red zone. Just doing a tremendous job keeping Hamilton out of the end zone. Last three drives for this Highland offense. Touchdown, touchdown, and a field goal. 27, Max Davis on the carry. I'd say that's being productive. Dominic Hilton. We can kind of sense the confidence growing in this young offensive line. And you know, say, hey, got to establish the run. And, Build that confidence as the game goes along. And the quarterback as well, who's just a sophomore. We take a look at the numbers tonight for Max Davis, 11 carries, 119 yards. He has been an absolute workhorse for this Hawks offense here this evening. 345 remaining, second down and seven. Screen to Tanner who finally is able to hang on to the ball as he bobbled it for a little bit and that gave Hamilton defense and time to per make the pursuit. Great concentration by Tanner. He did bobble it. A lot of dark jerseys run at him. He had some white jerseys running at him too, but able to haul it in and pick up some yards. Bring up third and short for this Highland Hawk offense. And it's a big third and two right here. We've got 3-10 remaining here. Huskies looking to get a stop. The fans on their feet. And before we're going to get a play, we got a timeout. And it's going to be charged to Highland. Brock Farrell wants to talk things over. Farrell in his third season at Highland. He's got a record of 20 and 6. His first year at the Hawks took him to the quarterfinals. Had a record of 8-4 last year, mentioned it. Made it to the state semifinals, 11-2 record. He's got a team that's trending the right direction, no doubt about it. Well, the other thing you mentioned, the fact that with success comes participation. And, you know, 80 kids on the freshman team this year for Highland, which bodes well for the future. No doubt about it. Well, we mentioned this is our season opener here at Your View, Arizona. Let's take a look at the rest of our schedule. We've got Queen Creek at Mountain View in a couple of weeks. There'll be new Queen Creek head coach Joe Germain, who played his high school ball at Mountain View. And we got third and two. Ball is loose, Daly picks it back up. Pressure, Chosen makes the play for Hamilton. And that's gonna bring up fourth down. 
Well, you take a look at this. Hamilton comes with a defense they've not used all night long. Seems like there's a little miscommunication with that young, inexperienced offensive line. The snap comes up early from Fitzpatrick. You can tell that because no other offensive lineman moved. And that's why Hamilton was able to get pressure on Gage Daly. And Troach is there to make the play. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Also want to mention, don't forget, next week here on Your View Arizona, we will have the modern day at Centennial matchup. That will be a great one to watch. I always love what Richard Taylor does with the Coyotes, Dale. He's not afraid to schedule the heavyweights from across the country. He is not. He usually has success. Uh, it seems like year after year, you just watch that Centennial team get better and better as the season goes along. And... By the time the playoffs come around, they're dominating, and it's going to be really interesting this year with that new playoff format, uh, the open division, picking the top eight teams regardless of your division. The pool will come from the 4A, 5A, and 6A teams for that open division. Yeah, and the modern-day Monarchs, they come in to take on since, you know, they are the two-time defending national champions. And they're number three in the preseason polls. So the Hamilton Huskies come up with the big stop defensively. And that Husky offense is going to take over with the ball at midfield. 2.07 remaining here in the game. Tied at 24. Nick Arve, 20. 230 yards tonight with the touchdown. Ball start against the Huskies will make it first down. And, and before Hamilton can get even a snap, they go back five yards. Yeah, well, you take a look at it. You know, they're on the 45 yard line. You need a field goal to break the tie. You have two timeouts. Remember in high school football, the clock stops when you go out of bounds. The clock stops when you get a first down long enough for you to get up and run another play. So plenty of time for Hamilton. Arve to Hattendorf. Hattendorf lost the ball, but they're going to give him the catch. Clock stops with 2.03. Well, these the Highland coaches are up here kind of interesting because they've got to see some of the replays that our fine crew shows us. And those two fumbles that went out of bounds, it, it's a lot easier to live with when you, when you know that the right call was made. Second and seven, Armenta. Gets brought down by Pullamore. It's going to bring up third down. And we've got a timeout by Highland. On the so they'll be down to one timeout remaining. Well, you got to wonder, uh, what is Mike Zadepsky and his staff thinking right now? Is this four down territory? Um, how many yards do you have to get? We've seen uh, their kicking game hasn't been super stellar, but they know they have a yard line in mind that they have to get to. Yeah, Colin Fuller, the kicker, his range is about 35 yards. So that's what they're looking at here. Oh, well, they need to get to about inside the 20 yards. Somewhere around, yeah, the they eight, have a chance. Somewhere around, the, yeah, the 18 or so. The young athletes' bodies are a work in progress, and their care requires a different approach. Phoenix Children's Sports Medicine has nationally recognized physicians and therapists who get young athletes back to doing what they love fast. Make an appointment today. Visit phoenixchildrens.org. So we have got third down and four for Hamilton at the Highland 44-yard line. So that Hamilton has to pick up about another 25 yards to get into Fuller's range. Trips to the right. Brennan Rice up top. Looking Rice's way. Pass is caught. First down, Hamilton. And what a great play call. You got Brennan Rice up top by himself, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Yeah, I, I, I'm not so sure that's such a great play call. That's the obvious play call. Kind of surprised that Highland doesn't change 
their defense up and, and force Arve to go to somebody else. 135 remaining. Arve, he's going to tuck it inside the 35. Arve scrambles down the right side. And we've got a player down for Highland, and that's going to stop the clock with 119 remaining. So that's almost like a free time out here for Hamilton. Well, it is. Clock will obviously stop and won't start. And everybody's lined up again. Let's hope the injured player is okay. Highland head coach Brock Farrell going to come out and check on his player. Not able to make out a number quite yet on who the player is for the Hawks. Well, you just hope it's a cramp. Well, these two teams met last year. It was Highland who got the victory 49 to 28. And it was a game that took two days to complete. They started on Friday night made it till midway through the second quarter, and then Lightning stopped the game, and they resumed on the following morning. Hawks getting the win. Walking off the field now under his own power for Highland is Teague Treese. Teague Treese there, the player for the Hawks. Let's take a quick look now at the upcoming schedule for the Hamilton Huskies. Up next, Coming into town from Nevada's Arbor View. And some other big time matchups. Mountain Point. Brophy with their new head coach, Jason Jewell. And then you got Perry and Chandler. Not a very easy way to finish this season for the Huskies. That's for sure. That's that premier division in 6A. Flags flying. Let's see what the penalty is. Part of the snap, full start. Offense number 77, five yard penalty. Still second down. Yeah, and you, again, it's always nice to have a buddy with you. That way they can't just single you out. But it looked like there was some confusion. Lecky holding his hands up. And pushes Hamilton back five yards. Second and 10. Attendorf makes the catch, still on his feet. Touchdown, Huskies! Caden Hattendorf, the 38-yard touchdown catch. Hamilton back on top. Tremendous job by the quarterback, Nick Arbe. Lances to his left very quickly. Brings the ball back over to the right, Hattendorf. Just running a simple go route, catches the ball in stride. You're wondering if he's going to get tackled. Breaks a tackle, gets into the end zone. And scores with one minute and five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What a big time throw and catch. Arve to Hattendorf. Hamilton with the lead. Fuller on for the extra point. And it is good. Hattendorf with the go-ahead touchdown, 105 remaining from 38 yards. What a big time play for Hamilton. Good protection up front, able to step into the throw. Good blitz pickup by Armenta, allows the ball to come out. And let Hattendorf do the rest. Hattendorf, the senior wideout, 6'2", 182 pounds. Had a touchdown in last week's game against Chaparral. And he's got a big one here tonight. Coach Zadebski breathing a little bit easier. Coaches don't breathe easy. There's, a still, a minute, bit easier. there's still a minute five left. You got one timeout. So many things can happen, especially in the world of high school 
football. Fuller to kick it away. Boy, he pins the return man into the corner there, Crandall. Not much room to work with. Fuller has done a great job of pinning the return men for Highland there on the sideline. And here is tonight's Arrowhead Honda drive of the game. Arrowhead Honda supporting our schools. You can find your car and buy online at arrowheadhonda.com. Five plays, 50 yards, 102 off the clock, capped off by the Hattendorf. Touchdown catch of 38 yards. Pretty good coverage down the field there. Delcy had a chance and just better execution. And now we'll look at uh, this Hamilton defense. If they go on to, to win this football game, it's going to be a, a great teaching lesson for the Hamilton coaching staff. It means you got away with a lot of penalties tonight and still found a way to win the game. And it would be the second straight week that they've gotten away with a lot of penalties. So Highland's going to have the ball at their own 22-yard line, 58 seconds on the clock, one timeout remaining. And there's a player for the Hawks near the Hamilton sideline right now being stretched out. And again, we've seen a lot of players go down with looks like cramps and this time it's Tanner Crandall, and now he is able to jog off the field. Well, he's a guy that this offense is going to need. Will he be able to come back here on this last drive? Here we go. Highland fans, Hamilton fans all on their feet. Daly and shotgun. Looking for some room, drops it off just over Zach Schroeder, incomplete. 52 seconds remaining. Obviously, you're going to drop back into a prevent type defense, and nothing gets behind you as a defense back. It's going to have to be a shorter completion, and then somebody, or Schroeder, True Tanner, can Crandall come back? Somebody making a play. Schroeder had the 64-yard catch and run in the first quarter. Crandall had one from 61 yards in the third. There's Schroeder there, and we have a late penalty flag thrown. Flag on the play is Daly finds Schroeder. We're going to be rough on the passer on Jeremiah Trojan. Well, Trojan comes up limping. See what the call is. Personal foul, targeting number 88. 15 yards from the end of the run, first down. Penalties continue to pile up for Hamilton. Well, again, you're letting it all hang loose here. Again, I think if there's going to be any error on the side of the officials, it's going to be to protect rather than let something go. Leading with the head, whether you made contact with them or not, it certainly looked like you did. And officials in high school do not have the benefit of instant replay. So it's an automatic first down for Highland. The ball spotted at their 40. And the referee, Tracy Hernandez, having a quick chat with Hamilton coach Mike Zadebski.
So the referee's still having a conversation with. I think they're talking about coaches. time on the clock. Put 46 seconds back on the clock rather than 39. So first and 10 from the 40. Bailey rolling to his left. He's going to tuck it down the sidelines. Gage Daly. Daly scrambles out to midfield. Making something out of nothing for the Hawks. And that moves the chains. 39 first seconds first remain. Well, you can, if I'm Hamilton, I'm making Daly run to his right. As uh, he continues to immediately come out to his left, he feels much more comfortable coming to his left than looks like going to his right. Ball at the Hamilton 49. Pass is complete. Schroeder. They ruled him inbounds. Clock continues to run. They ruled him inbounds. Hawks are forced to use their last time out of See the See if we can get a. Quick look at that. Trying to take what this defense has given them. Take another look to see if he was in bounds or not. Yeah, that, uh, that that's not even close and forces Highland to use their last timeout. That might, that might have worked in the NFL, but not in, not in high school and not in the last 30 seconds. That is a big call there. So Highland is out of timeout. 26 seconds remaining. Hawks with the ball at the Husky 44-yard line. Clock does stop after first downs and to move the chains. And supposedly, if, if you get out of bounds. That too. Let's see what Rock Farrell and company have dialed up here. Daly in shotgun, two receivers split to the left, one to the right. Daly's gonna roll to the right. He has room to run. He's gonna throw it down the field. Looking for the receiver. That was Schroeder, the receiver for the Hawks, but a great play defensively by Hamilton, Zach Lewis to break that up. Well, I tell you what, Hamilton being awful, awful aggressive on these plays. They run play action. Look at all the dark jerseys in the background. Nice job with the fake. Has a chance, but give a lot of credit to Zach Lewis, as you said. 5'11", 185-pound junior offer from NAU going up high to knock that ball down. That's a guy who's fast, athletic, versatile, also plays basketball on the track team at Hamilton. Third and five, 16 seconds remain. Highland, no timeouts remaining. Daly rolling right again. Dumps it off, catch is made, was he inbounds? He is, first down Highland. Eight seconds remain. Tanner Crandall making the catch. So Highland's probably got time for two plays. Well, depending on what they do, you should you try and get 10 yards, five yards, eight yards on one and then go to the end zone or you go to the end zone right now. Find out what Coach Ferrer likes to do. He's gonna go trips to the left. One receiver up top. Daly, middle of the field. Catch is made. Out of bounds. One second remain. Clock runs out. Catch was made by Grayson Kennedy. It looked like he got out of bounds before the clock ran out. But the scoreboard shows zeros on the clock. Looks like the officials are huddling right now to see, although I don't know how they're going to figure that out. Well, they're going to put one second on the clock. And 
And that looks like that was the right call. It did. There's the signal right there by Tracy Hernandez. Put one more second on the clock. It was Grayson Kennedy who made the catch and got himself out of bounds after picking up the first down. Nicely devised play, good execution. And Referees have gotten most everything right tonight. Again, remember, they do not have the benefit of instant replay. So here we go, folks. The final play of the game. Highland needs a touchdown and extra point to tie it. Daly rolls to the right, looking for the end zone. Fumbles the ball just short of the goal line. Game is over. The Hamilton Huskies get the victory over Highland 31 24 in dramatic fashion. What a game! The season opener, game time on your view, Arizona, with the fantastic finish. Ton of exhausted players down on the field. What great effort! He just hates. You just hate to see a team have to lose a game like this as both teams play their absolute hearts out. It was Gage Daly, the sophomore quarterback, with the scramble and mad dash to try to get to the end zone for the touchdown. That would have tied the game with the extra point. He comes up just short of the goal line. What a tremendous effort by this Highland Hawk football team. Uh, again, I think just about everybody other than the coaches up here and players down on the field thought that this game was over after Hamilton scored their last touchdown. And you're gonna see him scramble again as the pressure comes up the middle and he knows how far he has to get. Ball gets knocked loose. Just tremendous effort on everybody's part and the exhausted players. Let's now send it down to the field where Haley Stasiak is standing by with Hamilton head coach Mike Zadebski. Coach, what a win, a gritty win by your guys. How big is a win like this here in week one, I guess, to set the tone for the rest of the season? Well, Highland's a, a great team and they're very well coached. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to make plays when we needed to. and. Uh, at least there wasn't any more time left than one second. I want to ask you about Gabe Armenta. He had quite a game. What did you see out of him tonight that you really liked? He did. He's a tough, hard-working kid. He, he runs the ball well, and um, he, he makes us go. You've seen what your squad has now for two weeks. What do you have to work on moving forward? Penalties. That's, that's the biggest thing. It's just the, the self-inflicted wounds. Um, if we take care of that, we're a really, really good team because a lot of those drives that you know we're, we were scored on or – we didn't score were generally a result of um, our own errors. To know, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Haley. And Hamilton head coach Mike Zadebski <laughs> as the Huskies come away with a thrilling victory over the Highland Hawks by a score of 31 to 24. We're going to step aside for a quick break. We will have our player of the game, our play of the game, some final thoughts. We'll be back in just a moment. The season opener, game time on your view, Arizona. Hamilton with the victory, 31-24 over Highland. We'll be right back. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Times. Tickets start at $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Big O Tires and the D-Backs have teamed up to keep you safe and deliver Major League fun. It's the Check Your Air Score a Pair promotion. Stop into any participating Big O Tires for a free air pressure check and you'll receive a voucher for two D-Backs tickets to select games. Proper inflation improves tire performance, slows tire wear, saves gas, 
and get you home safe. So remember, check your air, score a pair. Dingo Tires and the D-backs, the teams you trust. I'm attorney Jeffrey Phillips of Phillips Law Group, and I'm here to remind you that insurance companies are not your friends. They're not good neighbors, and you're definitely not in good hands. They're all in business for themselves. Insurance companies fight every day to not pay claims. They don't want you to get a lawyer, yet they have lawyers. So what should you do? Hire someone who is really on your side right now. Phillips Law Group, 602-222-2222, or go to phillipslaw.com. Shopping online takes all of the hassle out of buying a car. And thanks to our redesigned website, Larry H. Miller Dealerships has made online car shopping even easier. One click shows you every vehicle for sale in the state. Estimate your payments and find a plan that works for you. Learn everything about the vehicle with a Carfax vehicle history and get the real value for your trade. Then stop by the dealership and pick up your new vehicle. Say hello to the future of car shopping at Larry H. Miller Dealerships. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. No guts, no glory. There are no second chances. This is Monster Jam. Brought to you by BKT Tires. To get started, $15. Coming to State Farm Stadium October 5th. See it live and bring the whole family. Welcome back to Hamilton High School, everybody. And what a season opener we had here. Game time on your view, Arizona. Hamilton comes away with the victory on the final play of the game. 31-24 is the final. Let's now take a look at our player of the game, and it is Hamilton quarterback Nick Arve. What a tremendous job he did all night long, made plays down the field with his arm, made plays with his leg, made the right reads, spread the ball around to a bunch of different receivers, and even though they didn't cap every drive off with a touchdown, he definitely moved the ball and was the catalyst for this offense this evening. Yeah, the senior had a great night for the Huskies, no doubt about it. Big touchdown there with just over a minute remaining in the game to Hattendorf. Hamilton able to get the victory as Mike Zadevsky talks with his team. Let's now check out tonight's Rias cool play of the game. Rios, it's time to rethink your AC company. And it's going to be the last play of the game. The Huskies defense making the stop. Really nice job by that defense when they absolutely had to do it. And that was Zach Lewis coming up and making initial contact with Gage Daly. And then they forced the fumble. And as Coach Sadebski said, thank goodness there was only one second left on the clock. It was a very happy and relieved Hamilton Husky team as they moved to 2-0 on the season. Let's now take a look at the final stats from this one between Hamilton and Highland. Yeah, you see both teams were able to move the ball. And the number one thing that I think they'll work on this next week, and I, I think coaches always like to win games but have something to work on. And guess what, Hamilton? 11 for 111. It looks very symmetrical, but that's not very good when you have all ones in the penalty box there area. But a nice job by that offense, throwing the football over 300, running it for over 200, and uh, moving the ball up and down the field. And some final thoughts on what you saw here tonight, our season opener here, Dale. Yeah, I mean, I think they're, they're both good football teams. I think uh, Hamilton is, is going to be a, a force to be reckoned with all year long. I think you'll see this young Highland Hawk football team continue to get better with all their young guys. Their offensive line will get better as the season goes along, along with their sophomore quarterback. Be fun to watch. Hamilton Huskies, they get the victory tonight. A very happy bunch here on a Friday night and Labor Day weekend. Well, for Dale Hellestray, Haley Stasiak, and our entire Your View Bobcast team, I'm Chris Harris saying so long from Hamilton High School. Where the final score is Hamilton 31, Highland 24. To watch this entire game on replay, you can log on to yourview.com. Thanks for joining us. And have a great night, everybody.